I'm a good player, baby. I ain't nothing like these other niggas who say do it big, I do it big. I'm a good player, baby. I ain't nothing like these other guys. I'm a super sandy small fry. Good players podcast. I am JT. The long side of me is my co-host Darius Perry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was going to act like I was on the perk for the first five minutes of the show, but I can't get any character because I'm too weak. Shout out to D, my nigga. And mama, you race us. D-Kill. d I don't know, man. <laughs> d took a perk. <laughs> Hold on, man. Tease one. <laughs> They be falling asleep like that. Man, what do you mean? Man, like? they be skydiving forever. They just be like. <laughs> why nigga, why they be doing that? Like, if you. I don't, get the coping, I don't get the coping mechanism in perks. I'm, I'm saying, but if you already in a certain lifestyle and you out and about, why you get high to the point you damn near about to pass out of sleep? And you get, and you need to be on all P's and Q. That's like. That's literally backwards. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what? I thought about that earlier. I was uh, I just started watching um what's Franklin Saint Snowfall. Yeah. And his uncle, no, uh, Jerome, rest in peace, RP Jerome, spoiler alert. Y'all ain't seen it. Um he had uh They say that after. He was he was drunk <laughs> at the gas station with the same car it. kept following that nigga around all day long. And I was like, damn, he's he's so drunk, he ain't even on any P's and Q's, bro. Gonna smoke his ass right now. And then what happened? Nah, he died saving Louis Fat, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man, but... Hey. We need to start keeping, like, Narcan in these studios, because they be so out of it. They be so high. Yeah, because you kind of don't want a nigga to die on your watch. Hell no, nah, I don't want a nigga to die. <laughs> I ain't got to be on my watch. Just don't die around me on no yeah. crazy shit. <laughs> nigga be like, what you did? Shit, nothing. But there don't be nothing they can do, because we don't have Narcan in these studios, or whatever it's called, but... Every studio, you let any nigga pop purse in your studio, you need to, you know what I'm saying? There may be something we could do, like just go studio there. <laughs> there. <laughs> hey, they whole episode, I'm just throwing nine off so they can see how they look. Hit them with Narcan, Sean. What is that? It's like a. Yeah, it's like niggas overdosing, they bring their ass back to life. Is it a needle? I think so, yeah. I think they shoot them. They shoot them that shit or some shit. You talk like on the movies when they be like this, and that's yeah. why I hit them good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I went over there and fell in a deep sleep, and you hit his ass. <laughs> that nigga ain't even Oh, my nigga, be, nigga been working for two weeks straight. <laughs> what the fuck? And you like, bro, it's your time. That nigga just. Man, if a nigga got to do all that, hey, don't bro, let his ass you... have sleep apnea and fuck around stop breathing. <laughs> if you got to do it. A... like, oh, shit. <laughs> nigga, they ain't even need that bitch. ain't need that bitch. Bro, if you got to do all that, bro, pill. nigga just got to, you need to just stop doing drugs, bro. You are a junkie. Like, if a nigga really got to do all, you, first of all, you going to scare the shit out of us. Yeah. <laughs> that shit going to scare somebody. Oh. Bro, sometimes I just turn the music down for like two, three, four seconds, bro, turn the shit all the way up and just print the space by like this shit. <laughs> 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 and like break chicken, they know, man. Oh, God, that just makes shit ass wait. Yeah. Damn, I don't bro. know, bro. I just... I pray for y'all, man, because y'all the new crackheads. Shout out to everybody on them perk. Niggas up 60 points, niggas up 30 points, niggas up 20 points. You are in the league of new fucking crackheads. You niggas are geek monsters. <laughs> Get off them pills, you fucking slum dog geek head. What these niggas had a perk leaderboard? Like, <laughs> <laughs> That's what they like, acting like. You got yeah. a perk leaderboard. I'm on. Yeah. Yeah, I'm on live. I'm on live. I'm on live, bro. I'm on my 50, yeah. 50, 50 at all. <laughs> I don't even think they be like, I'm so high. I'm, I'm like, bro, you about to die. Okay, so when they said like they, <clears throat> I'm just trying to, Damn. I'm trying to understand <laughs> this. I'm trying to understand this shit because I don't want to seem like the old nigga out here. So when they uh say they up some points and shit like that. <laughs> that's how many milligrams they I'm, but they I'm is. saying, is that a good thing? That's a real bad thing. That's how many milligrams they in. I know, but I'm saying, do, but do they like? Do they look at it like it's a good thing or a bad thing? Hell yeah, they're like, well, they know that boy there, ninety points, and he so ain't they, dozed off yet. So do they, do they be having competitions? Like shit, I'm gonna beat that. They yeah, they be like, who the last person to um be up? 
That's like a suicide mission. Oh, God. That's what it's saying, like suicide pack. Suicide squad. Per- <laughs> <laughs> Percocide squad. Percocet squad. Percocet. Perky boys. <laughs> Perky boys in the building. Shout out to all the Perky boys, man. Y'all niggas is crackheads. But for real though, man, these pills, they don't be right. Them hoes probably be fake, man. Just leave them hoes alone, bro. Because we used to sell them hoes, though. You know what I'm saying? Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> that was the pill we used to sell to white people back in the day who probably either overdosed on heroin and in prison for some drug-related shit. Yeah. And them reparations. But now, now they dumbass <laughs> niggas taking these goddamn pills. Now, we just started the podcast all on the motherfucking... We up, we up 90. Everybody got third up here. <laughs> Hey, the man. 90 Boys in the building, good player, hey, a.k.a. Man. 90 Boy. Y'all know what the fuck going on. Hey, man, you know, we, we got to make jokes about shit, but shit still be serious. Kill it, kill it, kill it. Get off, right? You know? Shit still be serious. Good player, podcast. <laughs> Y'all week been straight, though, man. Hell yeah, yeah. yeah man. Had a, had, a, had a pretty decent, pretty good week for the most part. You know what I'm saying? Finally um, finishing up the crib. Okay, Clap it up okay. for me. Crib getting finished, goddamn, and just working. Okay, okay, okay. We uh we opened up the studio. Artists that tap in uh, every week. We in here from seven until on Tuesday, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Tuesday, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Uh, y'all pull up to the good place to the uh, WP WPLR Studios and record. Uh, we got the deal right now. One hour for seventy five. Or get two hours for hundred dollars and get another one free, and that does not include mixing and mastering. So, yeah, just come in, man. Bring us y'all ideas, and we'll create your vision, make that shit visual. Goddamn, fact though, bring it to life. Practice a couple extra add-ons for the um for YouTube and shit now. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. We got something new on the way. More content, a lot of shit. Y'all gonna like this shit. Yeah, this shit dope. Shout out to the team. Shout out Kurt. Shout out Kelly. Shout out John. Shout, Shout out John. John. You know what I'm saying? Mama. Mama. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and and um, make sure y'all go subscribe to the coffee. We got a new episode up. Shout out to Liv. Uh and uh donate. Make sure y'all donate, Fred. I know I told Tease, I said, bro, don't say donate, bro, because that sounds like we're begging, but we ain't begging. We just want you to donate. I don't look at it like that, because yeah. that's what the charities be like. So do donate I. to we need to get and they get twenty thousand dollars donations got there. Yeah. Yeah. That shit was fucked up how they used to do that shit, like get some all uh, some uh, African kids like flies flying all on their face. <laughs> they get and shit. Ten cent they get ten, what the fuck ten cent? Bro, do? yeah, bro, I've been watching lately. People donate ten cent, nigga. That's a lot. Lately I've been like watching old like shit from the nineties and eighties and shit or like on TV, just all type of programs. I don't care if it's commercials. TV shows, or news episode, whatever. I've been watching shit, bro. Commercial, bro. TV was fucked up. Oh, man. Nah, in the nineties, TV boy. was a wild place. Oh god, they was just trying shit on everything. But it was they were saying wild shit on on kids shows too. On everything. Like <laughs> what the nigga was saying, to you? <laughs> bro. Y'all remember Rocco's Modern Life? Bro, that show racist as hell, bro. bro that show, that was some freak game boys on, on that bro, show. Bro, okay, <laughs> it wasn't racist. It was freak. Y'all remember the restaurant they had on there? Yeah, what the hell called? Choky Chicky. <laughs> <laughs> what the nigga better not touch my food in that bitch? <laughs> <laughs> what hell no But they had to rename That whole like You know what I'm saying Later A couple seasons later To the Chewy Chicken <laughs> Oh that's even worse <laughs> <laughs> Bro that shit was too funny Bro I was like bro This show well, was we crazy We beat the prices Of our competition meat <laughs> That shit was crazy bro They had a carrot On their car Really really big man Y'all remember him He was a superhero but his superpowers was his nipples <laughs> of the future. <laughs> 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 this was a kid show, my nigga. What the fuck? Some freak ass dude had to write that goddamn car. TikTok always showing you like what uh freaky like what freaky shit our cartoons choose to be having on there. And we just didn't even know it. Yeah. We weren't paying no attention. Cause you know they gotta put adult humor in them shows too. So it's like, damn. I ain't know it was um 
Remember on Space Jam when they stole there by the power, niggas in his raincoat. The wife was like, hey, this nigga over here doing something weird in his raincoat. Then remember when they had uh jumped out the goddamn coat and went and stole the power from the nigga, the shit, the suit just went down. It was like shit on the floor. And she was like, Ugh. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Like the nigga playing with a seven inch jacket. <laughs> <laughs> That was for the adults that went to the movies or their kids. They had to put that shit in there. I don't know. I ain't realize that shit. I was watching that shit the other day with my kids. <laughs> See, your kids want to say that. Somebody like my, my brothers, they had the weirdest human as kids, so they would have noticed that shit. Like, yeah, he playing with himself. He <laughs> 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 playing with his dick alone. Chill out, bro. Chill out, bro. Yeah, that was, it was a wild place, bro. News, like news reports. You can see how the news different now, how they be trying to be inclusive and stuff. Mm-hmm. Back then, they used to let y'all black ass have it. Damn, they, give a fuck. <laughs> they let you have it now, but back then, nigga, shit. It wasn't no, it wasn't no social media correct, nigga. Wild place, bro. Wild ass place. I don't know. I'm glad times have changed, though. Now the people control the narrative and not like 30 people. For everybody. What you gonna do when AI control the narrative? That ain't even a real person. Yeah, that's that's the big problem. Like, that's the main problem folks worried about right now with AI. All the other shit, jobs and shit, yeah, niggas' jobs gonna get lost, but a creative nigga gonna make a job out of that. You feel me? He gonna make a job out of that situation right there. Uh, create more jobs for that. Build, you know what I'm saying? Come up. But <laughs> I feel gonna, like that shit might be a wave, like, uh, it's just gonna, it's gonna be like a uh, Bitcoin. Yeah, the world evolving, bro. That's all it is. Yeah. I don't think it is going to be like the same way with Google. Remember they were talking about this shit with yeah. Google? Like, damn, you can ask this shit anything? It's going to be like that. So and the first version of this shit might not be called Google. on everything. Niggas live and die by that shit. What you were saying, though, Brian, me cut you off. Uh, What was I saying? Oh, yeah. Fake news. That's what folks worried about with this shit. Fake news. Fake news. Uh... Let's say somebody want to go to war with another country. They might walk in there and be like, look at what their president just said on the news. Yeah, fake news. And then the AI going to just turn them up. You know what I'm saying? But I don't, me as an artist, like uh, not even just music, but like a savant in general, I ain't fucking with it right now. Like, you know what I'm saying? And then you got people because it's like, you said a savant. Yeah. What that mean? It's like you're a creator. You're. A, it's it's a better word than being a creative. I'm a creative. You just that's just a you just want to be fancy saying that. You no, know? nah, bro. I just I don't want right. to sound like everybody else. I hate right. that shit. That's goofy. But uh, and then it just everybody just feel like they can just say that shit because a nigga get on here and make take pictures eight ways of how to wear an outfit and. Think that's creative. It sounds like you just know how to put your clothes on. I think this motherfucking AI shit finna make shit so sweet, but this shit finna mm-hmm. be so easy for niggas who actually know how to do some shit. Yep. If you know how to use technology. So before we go any further, let's let the people know what we're talking about because we kind of AI. Ain't it? Yeah, they you lost by now, my nigga. <laughs> they know we talk about AI. So <laughs> recently, yeah, and this morning I seen some shit where Guru Jay Z, um, engineer. Posted a song and was talking about how they need to come up with a law to protect somebody's voice. That's the only way that shit going that's the only way they're gonna stop all this shit. The government literally gotta get try to be quicker than AI. Yeah, because they you can sue people for using shit in your likeness. So you gotta be able to, you know what I'm saying, do this shit with vocals and shit too. Yeah. And the dude put a whole verse on the song. I said I know Jay-Z was probably mad because that verse was trash. Yeah. Jay-Z wouldn't say none of that shit. <laughs> That's probably more so what they was mad at, but like as being a creative though, I would I don't agree with it, bro, because it's gonna take a for one, it's gonna take away artistic expression. It ain't gonna, it ain't gonna enhance it. It's gonna make that shit lazy. It's just like I feel like the worst thing I could have learned how to do was work Photoshop and Illustrator to the utmost. Mm-hmm. Cause that shit kind of made me lazy in a sense, you know what I'm saying? Like I was like, I right, draw something out, look at it, and be like, just do this shit on the computer, you know, and then shape, manipulate and shit like that. But with the AI shit, you just type in dog walking up the street with a monkey eating an apple, 
and that bitch gonna give you a pain of that shit. And then, you know, that was the same wave when they was, people was painting pictures of artists and shit like that. Like, shit, that's the same shit with calculators. You could push two plus two, it'll instantly give you four. That's different, though. That's math. Yeah, Everybody but, don't give a fuck about math. But it's still two plus two. Yeah. When it matter, though, you can't use no calculator with math. Like, if you go to school, you ain't finna use that calculator. You still gotta show your work. So you still got to show your work with AI. But it ain't going to be, it ain't the art ain't going to be the same, though. That's what I'm saying. Like, you're going to have niggas out here just, that's going to learn how to manipulate that shit to the up. It's kind of like when they was doing the, uh, when niggas was doing them black images, uh, black face and shit. <clears throat> what are you talking about? You know, like, uh, they was doing the black face for the art. They was like making like white movies black. They was black washing movies. Oh. <laughs> and it's like I, the whole time I'm thinking they didn't got on Instagram. I mean, I'm thinking they didn't got it. There's two photo. versions out. It's like memes where people right just cut out heads of people and put on their like, like um they had one with uh what's his name? Terrence Howard. And his face was on Batman and said, he Batman. <laughs> 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 Bad mind. Oh, you talk to was like well uh nigga had the um the Adams family like in 3D yeah. type shit. Yeah. Yeah, that's but that's fun though. That's just for fun, bro. When it matter that shit. Yeah, is- I'm saying that. But then all I'm saying is when it get down to the when it get down to the nitty gritty, <laughs> goddamn Hey, it's going to be hard for niggas that really pick up them paintbrushes and make livings off of shit like that. I mean, it might be good because you might still have some people that want to go and... Uh, oh, I, okay, I see what you're saying. Like a nigga that probably do a mu- murals and shit like yeah, that. Yeah, they might AI the shit and super glue the shit on the wall. And it's like, bro, like, y'all letting the computer just... Niggas getting computers too much fucking power. They already been trying to show But at the same shit. time, I feel you, though. Yeah, shit like that can't happen, but that's going to mean that painter going to have to f- find another way to make some money then. He's going to have to create some new shit, do some more shit. Yeah, I'm, it's pushing the envelope. But that's I, all it is. You I just going to have to adapt. Yo, it's just making it's just like power tools. Like either you're gonna get with it or you're not. And if you don't, you're gonna have to work harder to keep up with the it's gonna water shit down. It's gonna make production of shit way quicker. But but like the the like the good shit, but that's always subjective too. You feel me? But the talent, like I said last time, the cream gonna always rise to the top, bro. All the time. Cause I that's another thing they be saying, like online content, you can make whole videos just type of shit. Like, content online gonna be fi- made by AI, though, too. But you still gonna have to... It's gonna... It's like it's gonna... It's like fast food. It's gonna print it out real fast. It's like you type of some shit, and it's gonna print the whole shit. But you still gonna have to get in there and make changes to it yourself. You still... Well, you could just use AI again to do it. You feel me? Just keep doing that shit. It's damn near like coding. You feel me? Yeah. I don't know. I just have to wait to see. Like, but I think the most drastic shit we was just talking about this was the artist, um, the artist versus the machine. You know what I'm saying? You got niggas out here really doing using these celebrity voices, mm-hmm. using these rappers' voices. I.e., the last they had put out like four songs with Kanye on AI. Then they had came back <clears throat> this morning and Guru had did one of Jay Z voice, mm-hmm. and it's like. You know what I'm saying? That shit gonna be trash for a lot of rappers who protect their legacy and don't do a lot of songs with niggas and present you quality over quantity. Or a nigga might fuck around and blow up off of your voice and you don't get no money from that shit. Because if you a rapper, your ass need to rap. I know, but I'm saying you got like legendary acts like like I always wanted the song Raekwon if if I would have took rap series. You know what I'm saying? Now AI here, I get a song with Raekwon, that whole blow up. That nigga ain't gonna get no money out of that shit. He gonna be like, bitch ass nigga, that ain't even me. But you got to make it sound like Raekwon as far as writing though. You still gonna have to write the verse. You think you gonna write a verse like just like Raekwon, like how he was saying? I don't think that's fair to them as the artists. Like I was saying earlier, bro, because don't get your shit popping off my name. I don't give a fuck about you knowing how to write some shit like me. 
I didn't ask you to do that. You looking at... I, I, I understand where you coming from. You got to look at it from like... Some people ain't gullible, right? A lot of people is, but when it matter, bro, that shit is not going to matter. Like, I'm, I'm trying to explain this shit. How can I explain this? Man, they're trying that? to... <clears throat> I feel like they're trying to make this shit well... You know, everybody want to be somebody to the point where they'll pay to look like somebody. So they're trying to separate all that shit and have some place where all just to, okay, we know for a fact that these these people buy this shit, you come fuck with these folks for real, for real, or you can stay down there with the folks who buying badges and shit. Because it's going to get oversaturated like that where everybody feel like they somebody because they can type something in and make something. And you get what I'm saying? Yeah. I just, I don't know. I don't be fucking with technology like that, bro. I know it's the wave and it's the future, but that shit just, it be requiring too much personal shit and you don't know where this shit going. You don't know who got access to what and what they doing with this and that. I ain't, I don't fuck with that. So it's like, y'all call me an old nigga, you know what I'm saying? But I I don't be fucking with that shit. Kids, my little cousin and them, they like the same way. They like, no, nah, we ain't doing that. Cause I feel like you just got to adapt with that shit, bro. That's the only thing you can do. You're going to have to. You, <laughs> you ain't got no choice for real. That's just like when computers came out. I bet you a whole bunch of people was like, computers, no, nah, I ain't, you know what I'm saying? I ain't doing all that. I know a lot of people was. I know my folks was like that until they bought a goddamn computer. We always had computers. We had Y'all always had computers. Oh, Y'all always had computers in that early, like, 90, 1990. Yeah, yes. I remember my dad. My daddy got pictures when I was a baby with computers in the background. Okay, okay. Probably it is, though. Yeah, my dad always had computers. I just, He's a businessman. Yeah. So. I don't know. You know. I'm. I'm. <laughs> we had the flat. We had the flat screen in the neighborhood. When we was growing up. Didn't nobody have flat screen. I'm uh, judging my race. That's what it is. Yeah, you will. <laughs> Everybody ain't a nigga that's black. <laughs> Cause niggas ain't had shit back then. Um, the '90s and the '80s was a wild ass time. Yeah, we, <laughs> yeah, yeah. The '70s too. Oh god. Especially God's the '70s. '70s. They were smoking crap like cigarettes. Well, that's on heroin. Yeah, the 70s. on that H. <laughs> on that, <laughs> on that boy On that heroin <laughs> On that oh, boy I watched the uh, Iceberg Henry. Slim documentary last night like, Who? Dude. Iceberg Slim <laughs> <laughs> you know Why your ass right here talking like that today? Man <laughs> oh, hey. I smack bitches That boy <laughs> Iceberg <laughs> Slim <laughs> He said he was high all the time Hell yeah, nigga high all the time Man no, that's Do you care a little Iceberg Slim though? No I don't What's the pimp? To my Virgil Virgil. Virgil. Yeah, he for a Virgil. He yeah. one of the first pimps to start selling dope. <laughs> yeah. That was against the rules, though. Like, yeah, it was against the rules. You couldn't mix your... Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because I've been watching... Like, I watched, I've been watching a lot of docs lately. And I saw like a mafia documentary. They ain't play that shit, boy. Like, if they was into some other type of business and you over here, like... We over here... Selling guns and shit And like doing real Like not, not even selling guns Doing real estate We arm strong arm our way Into like commercial business Because that's what they was doing But you over here Selling drugs In front of the building That they strong arm man. <laughs> Bitch you finna fuck up This whole operation <laughs> I wanna beat that nigga <laughs> For some me For some me and everything For the bubble for we the over bubble. here got a two million dollar Scott deal going on With this side scraper But you about to fuck up The whole operation Because you want to sell weed and just have some of your own to say that you're doing. Oh, God, they used to the kill them niggas, bro. If they caught you selling drugs, they'll kill that nigga. <laughs> Sometimes man got to do what a man got to do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, bro. bro. Clean my shit up, bitch ass nigga. And just watching that made me see the difference between, I ain't going to say all black people because I know some niggas out there move like, really move like the mob trying to get into the ghost type niggas. <laughs> I know those niggas really out here like that, but. It was like it's like completely totally different game, bro. <laughs> I wouldn't mind. Well, nah, it's too late for me to try to be a drug dealer. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wouldn't mind. He gonna jump out the porch at 32. <laughs> Outside, bitch. <laughs> Bro, I was, I was looking at that shit like, damn, this how you make a mafia? This shit look easy. <laughs> <laughs> to get all niggas on one accord, that be the hardest part, bro. Yeah, yeah. bro. Yeah, bro. You got to make the example out of a nigga. <laughs> so everybody else will know your ass ain't playing. Know what they used to do? Yeah. Get one nigga and smoke his ass in front of everybody. Front of Get everybody. the fool, the fool nigga out of everybody. Come here, man. Let me talk to you, man. Yeah. Bah! I ain't playing with nobody else in here. <laughs> everybody can die. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now y'all clean this shit up. 
Yeah, now y'all clean this shit up, man. Oh, and this is another thing I learned about that shit is that you know how when you got a job somewhere, they hate labors? Mm-hmm. The mafia used to own the labels. Uh huh. And the unions. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 I know that. The unions, I mean, the unions. The unions. That's what I meant. Yeah, the unions. Unions. <laughs> I ain't know that shit. Because yep. mm-hmm. I want to say, what plant, what car come from Detroit? All of them. Ford, uh, Ford, that's that's Mopo. what it was like why they shut one of them down in the first place in Detroit because yeah. the mob had that whole on lock. Oh, God, but they had the so they workers had in that bitch that shit. on all type of drugs just so they could keep working and keep working and keep mm-hmm. working, getting off work, getting more money to bring back to them to buy more dope so they could mm-hmm. keep working, keep yeah. working. And they had the government like, nah, fuck, they closed that whole down. Fuck. They used to be so trapped out in the goddamn Ford uh, warehouse. Shit, y'all know Adolf Hitler made milk. Him, him and him and the scientists just so the soldiers can stay up to keep fighting the war. They used to dip that shit in toothpicks and stick it in that gun. And oh, just... God. They out there geeking with a pistol. Bro, I'm sitting here watching all this. I wish this. a nigga would come across this hole. Oh, I'm sitting here watching this shit. I'm looking like, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it look like having a mafia eats. All you got to do is scare them niggas. That's all you got to do is fit. Yeah. Hey, bitch, don't say nothing. We ought to <laughs> we ought to wrap that room up in plastic one day and get like twelve inches. <laughs> <laughs> Make it look like we're finna kid that ass. And cut the light off and tell them just walk in there, y'all good. <laughs> and then have John sit up in the corner chained up. <laughs> Let <laughs> close the door. Now everybody gonna work for us. Oh, and everything. <laughs> and then get John to just start barking that day. <laughs> everybody go work for us. You you keep it silent. You gonna make money. It's gonna it's gonna turn out good for you in the end. If you don't, <laughs> hey, hey, headquarters, take care of this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, John, you just. <laughs> 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 then we let we put some speakers back there and let Sean say now go work <laughs> <laughs> Wait, and let Sean a cue blue yeah <laughs> Wake your ass up snowflake <laughs> <laughs> up, <laughs> now get to work niggas <laughs> <laughs> yeah no nah. some new music came out uh, Friday DJ Drama yeah. Dropped the new Gangsta Grills. Man, what, what song that was that nigga was talking on? It was like that slow song. He kept saying weird ass, creepy oh, shit. Oh, yeah, we was like, bro. He was like, you like that, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> In the middle of the song, he like, you like that, don't you? And it was a whole nother nigga talking about the freaky shit. <laughs> he said, Come on, you like that, don't you? Yeah, that shit was wild. He came out with an album, and that shit was, I, I'm going to get that album. That album is a solid, like 9.5. Who we talking about? DJ DJ Drummer. New Gangsta Girl. Uh, it ain't a Gangsta Girl. It's a DJ Drum project. It's called I'm Really Like That. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He told DJ Khaled after he dropped, I'm going to get you. I'm really like that. He is better than DJ Khaled at making projects. So what do they do? They just make everybody Like laugh. basically A&R produce. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, just supercharge that whole. Use their resources and their connections and put everything together. Yeah. The yeah, crazy thing is DJ that Khaled, that DJ Khaled have he use way bigger artists than drama do, but drama shit just always sometimes uh, DJ Khaled should be sounding force. You yeah. look at it, you read it like, oh yeah, shit gonna be hard, and you hear the beat like, cause yeah, he be nah. trying to do it like immaculate, the biggest he be like the grand shit, like he trying to be like the fucking first, yeah, he trying to be first class. I am usher at upper echelon. You feel me? Yeah, and it's like, no, nah, it, it ain't that. Maybe it's because it's who he is. I think he fucks them songs up. Because he corny. Yeah. If he just let another nigga do that shit, it'd probably have a different appearance, I guess. Yeah. I saw. You got to have a mic, bro. <laughs> Can't hear you. <laughs> you. You should he, go ahead and finish. Yeah. Yeah, he just be mismatching designers. Cause like D uh DJ Drama had La Rosa and Saha on the same song. Mm-hmm. And La Rosa walked the dog with Saha. I mean, you know, Saha gave us a good quality verse, you know what I'm saying? But it wasn't what 
I'm used to from Sahai, because I'm a Sahai fan, because he got bars like a motherfucker. For sure, they were my favorite. But La Russell, because D. Keller was like, that's La Russell. I was like, bro, that's why I be telling you, bro. The nigga don't come to play with nobody, bro. I, I put just these, like just let y'all know, I put these niggas on La Russell. <laughs> you did? Yeah. You, you put this, me on that? That first episode back, my NDP was La Russell. Show down. Show well. I'm not <laughs> yeah. on that Damn, my fault. <laughs> Hear that. <laughs> But yeah, and then Wayne, tell him, tell him, D. Kelly, we had to listen to that verse like four times, bro. Bro, Wayne still him. Yeah. Wayne got a song on that with Roddy, Roddy, Roddy Rich. Perk six. Perk. <laughs> Roddy Rich Perk sounded good on it. Gucci Man on everything, did. Hey, Roddy Rich been in here bad lately. Yeah, he, I don't he give a fuck. He back. Say. Roddy Rich back with that. With that. That nigga um, ain't been missing. Uh-uh. That nigga been pulling up every time. Oh. <laughs> I think it's Roddy Rich, Wayne Gucci on that song. Then you got G's and Nipsey on one song. Niggas is on Twitter like G's verse was so fire. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. But hell no. Nah. <laughs> Jesus sound like an old nigga on that hoe. <laughs> he really sound like a nigga who they just was like. You want to rap old nigga? Yeah, I'm like, all right, we got to give this nigga one more chance. It don't sound like that snow, snowfall Jesus. That shit sound like an old nigga Jesus trying to his, holler at a young girl. He in his legendary status now. Where they ain't, at this point now, because at first they was folks when son well, fucking with old Jesus. Yeah. But now after snowfall, and I think the project before that too. Yeah. Folks been like, hey man, Jesus, whenever Jesus put out, we support it. You yeah. feel him? They love Jesus. Yeah, but I heard, I heard a couple niggas said, this is Jesus' best verse ever. I see I'm what like, I'm saying, bro. bro. I see y'all be going too far with shit, bro. Well, I'm the realest nigga in it. You, you already, already know. know. <laughs> what the fuck? He got a verse that start off like that. <laughs> <laughs> Four times in a row. What that game? <laughs> A lifetime supply of baking soda clientele. A rolling watch. Two parts. I ain't gonna lie. That, that shit was fire as fuck when it came out. Oh, God like that, that bar, bro. Yeah. yeah. I, why was that so fire, though? They cut that whole, they cut that whole off. Oh, everything. Why, why was that so fire? Was it because when nobody talking like this at the time? Nah, because it just... Yes, they were. It just they nobody rapped about it, but for a nigga that they knew, suspected everybody knew Meech was doing that shit. So when he came out and just said that shit in the fly ass way, oh, I'm talking about Jesus had the ad on lock. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We talking about what he was talking about? Yeah. 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 All his all his uh, ad libs sound like he was falling out the sky from the mic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I told you, nigga. Oh, he go. Let's get it. <laughs> Let's get it. But them hoes, them hoes, he kind of kicked off like having five ad libs for real, for real. He kicked that shit off. He kicked that shit off. Hey, man. Shout out Jesus, bro. Shout out Jesus, man. Oh, clap God. up for Jesus, man. You gotta put the clap. <laughs> Shout out Jesus, man. Shout out young Jesus, man. But yeah, if you will see this clip. That verse wasn't it, my nigga. It's, I think the beat was too slow for him. It was just more sort of delivery. Yeah. That was really like egging me. And then yeah, we got. I'm, look, I'm saying that song in my head, G's and Fabulous Song. Which one? <laughs> I got a pocket full of that, do the damn thing money. <laughs> uh, I got a pocket full of do the damn thing money. <laughs> I do the damn thing. Yeah. Oh. oh. He said, who? G's and who? Fabulous. Fabulous. Who made the beat? Sweet beat? Fabulous. Uh, I don't know who made the I beat. I got a pocket full of that do the damn thing, man. Because you remember uh, Fabulous started on dun, 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 dun. I forgot his verse. <laughs> oh, time out. We cannot let this moment slide. <laughs> 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 you know, he, he already weak. You know where I'm finna go. What he said? <laughs> <laughs> I'm weak all over again. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> This nigga is so crazy. See, you gotta tell them what your what your first route name was. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so for clarification, it was my I I was think I was like in the seventh grade, feel me? In the seventh grade, and I listen to music. You feel me? Fabulous, my favorite rapper at the time. Well, it was Nelly and Fabulous, cause they was. Now, I, when I think about that shit, I'm like, why the fuck was they my favorite rappers? But 
They was some young niggas at the time. Yeah. I'm, I'm a little kid. You feel me? I looked up to them. So, boom. So, it was nearly and fabulous. So, boom. <laughs> I said, yeah, I'm going to make my rap line be fantastic. <laughs> fabulous, fantastic. <laughs> How you spell that shit? <laughs> Then I sat down and tried to see how I'm gonna spell it. P H A N T A Z. Wait, you sound like one of them ingredients on the back, like you reading the ingredient list on the shit. P H, she got a P H a Z. Yeah, P H A N T A Z. I K. No, wait, Taz. T I K. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. So he's a whole personalize on the So I need to make shit ride with potassium on this. Fantastic. <laughs> you fuck with that rap name, John? I'm in the seventh grade. I'm in the seventh grade, though. Hey, Sean, what was your first rap name? I'm in the seventh grade, though. And this, like, 2000. I know you about reason. Sean, uh, body Sean. You don't remember that first one, though? Mine was Dara C. That was kind of gay to you, though. Yeah. But, like, because everybody at school used to just call me that shit. But, like... What you wanted your rap name to be? Movie. Movie? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Big movie. Yeah. And then, like, uh, my fans, I wanted to call my fans... uh. <laughs> His fans like the like the uh, barbs. <laughs> yeah. They were gonna be called uh, spectators. <laughs> spectators. Some shit like some, that. Some shit I can't remember. But yeah, I wanted that. I wanted my shit to be moving. <laughs> the movie, movie going. going. <laughs> 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 you know, because I was like on my rollout, so I was gonna have like previews and air video and then had like uh my fans said this five star rating and shit. I had a whole rollout for my shit. <laughs> <laughs> this is so stupid, man. D. Kelly, what's your D. Kelly just D. Kelly? That's just D. Fine. Kelly. I wasn't even a rapper, but I just be around everybody and everybody just started calling me D. Bro, Kelly. I remember when the first time I heard D. Kelly rap, bro, I was spazzed out. Cause I, I think we had rapped in front of Mike Mike House. And then I ain't even know he can rap. But Mike Mike told our other neighbors, like, hey, Daryl, fi. I'm still spitting the Jay-Z watcher verse. <laughs> 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 the nigga, the nigga D. Kelly come flip, flop, paint, like open toes on the sound. <laughs> like just going crazy, bro. We in like the seventh grade, bro. I'm like, oh shit. Y'all had I've been knowing this nigga all my life and he never said none of this. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Screens falling. I mean, uh, all kind of crazy. Drop the top, kind of like an open jaw to the top. Of you know what's funny? I can see this of... scene playing out in a movie. <laughs> 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 they were freestyling there, like, I was. What? Then after y'all doing, hey yo, hey yo, yo, <laughs> bro, why the fuck you ain't tell me you can rap like this, nigga? He like, I don't know. I'm like, bro, your ass tripping. Then we had to start rapping this shit. <laughs> But that's how I knew we were final, because then he got the type of dad that'll be like, hey, y'all need, need to cut this shit off and get out of my house. <laughs> <laughs> Go get a... He used to, like, make us stop recording certain people when they were trash. I'm yeah. like, hey, man, y'all need to wrap this up and go outside and play basketball. So yeah. middle of them four sessions. On, on everything. But then when it was just me and D. Kelly, he used to crack the door to the garage and sit yeah. out there and cut the radio off and yeah. listen to us rap. Yeah. Like, damn, we snapping, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> But hell yeah. And then uh what you call him dropped the album with Alchemist. Who? Uh Larry June. I seen he did a rap right off podcast episode. Yeah, me too. I saw that too. I ain't watch it though. The album's straight though. It's a vibe. It's just it's Larry good June background. Should be music. Straight. Yeah, <laughs> good background. That's what it is. Right when you working. But you listen to it though. You feel me? It just vibes, bro. Yeah. You can listen to it and not pay attention, or you can listen to it and just like, damn, this nigga <laughs> going crazy on <out> him. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga went off. He gonna have to do a song. He better lace his boots up. I'm shocked to him and smoke that nigga boots. You gonna smoke his boot? They gonna thank y'all, brother. Why? Y'all look just alike. No. That nigga said he know he got, when well, he got them uh, Michael Mays motherfuckers on, he be looking like, uh, come on, baby, do the hump that hump. 
Damn, you talking about the club oh, master? The club master on the, on the ground. Shocker. Shock G. Shock G. He got the that nigga knows stupid bit. I got but he like Miss Potato Head. I ain't never looked at, I ain't never seen a nigga. Larry June looked like Miss Potato Head. He like, he look like a nigga, his name would be Red in the hood. Oh, every time. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all seen Red slow talking there? Yeah. Definitely. Bro, I fuck with Larry June. That's what he remind me of, too. I thought about that when I watched one of his videos. I'm like, this nigga remind me of Pimp C. Yeah, he kind of look like Pimp C. <laughs> oh, man. When he get older, he gonna look like Pimp C. I fuck with Larry June, though. Like, it's looking for hoes all in there. The nigga be having vibes, you feel me? Then, then sometimes he be just dropping, like, n- normal, everyday game on these niggas, bro. Oh, God, he do. He just, something like, he'll just tell you something simple, like, some, bro, sometimes... Do something for your bitch. Don't be, don't take all the time, my nigga. Yeah, little shit like that. Yeah, you be like that. The rappers don't say shit like that in songs. Mm-mm. You feel me? Cause my favorite song off that album is Sixty Days. Yeah, that shit's so hard, bro. Sixty days. At first, I couldn't get jiggy with Larry June. I was days. like, you know, he all beat in the motherfucker. He was rapping about his day. Yeah, just. But then, like, one day. He just the right shit. He telling you on. his life for real, yeah. for real. Cause just think about ain't nobody Larry, no Larry Jewel. That shit probably you feel me? Sixty days, my See, dude. He probably sat down, and went hard for sixty days, and right just came up. Like yeah, that, you know what I'm saying. And I was like, damn, yeah, that's fine. You know what I'm saying. So I fuck with it now. I ain't like no die hard fan. Like no, I ain't no die hard fan. But I fuck either. with the music though. I it's fuck. almost like no. I, yeah, I like Primo Rice. Y'all listen to Primo Rice? Nah. Primo Rice like a pimp. Out of the same little area, y'all. Primo Rice. That sounds oh, like shit, a pimp name, exactly. too. Hey, 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 hey. And that's a cold blooded ass ad lib. Wait, hey, hey, hey. hey. hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I might walk around and just say that shit sometime. Good job, Larry. Yeah. What I hate that he be doing, though, he be like, yeah, dee dee. I be like, why is this nigga saying this in his damn song? The nigga high. I'm gonna make that nigga rap. I'm gonna make all these nigga rap. My favorite Larry June song is uh, it's like it's called Smoothies in 91. Mm-hmm. I like that. Mm-hmm. 91, 91, 91. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, that. <laughs> Goddamn, uh, your boy. What's your boy from Ant Man and Creed 3? Jonathan Majors. Yeah. Had hey, went to jail last week for beating up his, uh, allegedly beating up his old lady. And then nobody get in the uproar at first because they like it's kind of. Weird at the time, this timeline ain't making sense. You know what I'm saying? You know how like a black dude gets to a certain point in his career, and either he catapult or some tragic happened. Mm-hmm. Like after Creed Three took off and shit, now he doing all this shit, then just pop out that he beat up his wife. So the other day, his lawyers put out the text messages from their conversation, and it looked like he might have put them bricks on them because she went through his phone. He told her not to. And she did it anyway. How y'all feel about that? That's them folks. She feel me. Do y'all think that people, celebrities should be uh, counseled for their personal life? No. Because that's that's why I think a lot. I do. You do? Yeah, that's just like saying a nigga, you find out a nigga with fucking kids out here, he can be counseled. That's his personal he life. He should be in jail. Yeah. I'm sick, man. Or dead. All that. Preferably dead. But, but we ain't got to counsel that shit because folks fuck up, but put his ass away so he can... Fuck up over there with the rest of the fuck ups. Who? You ain't got to cancel them? Anybody, yeah. And like, you know yeah, what I'm I, saying? I don't feel like people like, like, you know how Ray Rice knocked his wife out on the elevator and then yeah. they took him out of the league? Yeah. I don't feel like he should have got fined for that shit. I don't feel like he should have got kicked out. I feel like he should have went to jail yeah, and then been to able jail. to come back to work because he didn't commit the crime at work. Like, your personal life shouldn't have nothing to do with your own job performance. And I think that's a lot of time where people begin to invest it into people if you're and not regular, what the services they present you. Like, bro, present us service of acting. Yeah, but if you're a regular person, I mean, all right, bro. If John wants to go to work <laughs> and go home and beat his bitch in the elevator, <laughs> ain't gonna say shit because they can replace judges. You know what I'm saying? They can replace them. So what's the difference in him and John? Because the money, the amount of money the, he brings to the table. Yeah, the amount of money. But that shouldn't have nothing to do with the morals of that. I shit. know it shouldn't, but it does. That's that's why I hate to see them like immediately they was trying to cancel him. They like, bro, just wait and let the shit happen. Like, I'm pretty sure 
you know what I'm saying, y'all, like, people go to school, you got cousins and shit, you know fucked up people. You ain't reporting them to their job. Like, hey, my cousin, he come over to my mama's house, get drunk on Fridays and piss all over our furniture. I got videos. I got this. <laughs> they going to be like, well, you need to handle that. I feel like the same thing should be applied to that shit. Because, like I said, people be too invested. They be forgetting, like, you only know this nigga because he an actor. Mm-hmm. Now he didn't got to a certain level. Now you want to be all in the man personal life in the business and but shit. But you sign up for that, too, when you become an actor, rapper, entertainer. You sign up for that shit. Because... Yeah, you sign up for that shit, bro. Well, yeah, I guess that's in the same vein as me saying we shouldn't cancel our killer. <coughs> and that John Morant shit. All that shit fit together. Yeah, if he wasn't him, wouldn't nobody give a fuck. Is that just like with the John Morant shit? Wouldn't nobody give a fuck? I'd get on my live right now and show up. <laughs> Won't nobody give a fuck. Yeah. <laughs> They go rush his ass. Be that be lit for me. They gonna be like, hell on that hug again. What the love? Nobody will pop it. Y'all got Come in, just gonna start coming in. And then nigga be in that hook. And then nigga be on that bitch with a rocket launch. That little ass rocket launch. Bitch, you only got one missile. Bitch, we got 10 of them hoes. You better not miss with You better not miss with that bitch. We got grenades. Goddamn, my uncle just bought a tank, bitch. <laughs> What you would do if you seen your op have a grenade on Instagram? <laughs> <laughs> grenade launch on Instagram. I'll squash that shit in the comment section. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, just imagine that shit happening. Blow that bitch up. <laughs> Hell no. White flag emoji in the comment section. You got it, bro. You and that bitch, you and his bushes, this shit. Hey, yo, I'm gonna smoke his ass. <laughs> like, this bitch had a grenade. You not finna play with his ass. Justified. <laughs> Cause you, I, I ain't know that the bitch had that whole hip pocket <laughs> or nothing. Bro. But then what as soon as you smoke them, you fuck around and shoot that whole your grenade. <laughs> Blow that the whole block. Y'all did. Uh-huh. Hit the whole block dead. Cause shit your like that happened in real life though, bro. Remember that nigga from Chicago that took a picture with a rocket launcher? Yeah, yeah. yeah Just imagine if you was beefing with him. He probably was starving. And you shit, literally bro. just spun on his shit like a few days ago. <laughs> You think he on that whole like uh, Marlon Wayans on Don't Be a Bitch? <laughs> you thought I was playing with nigga? Do we have? A- I don't know what I do. You gonna have to go get that nigga before he come you to your house. To, whatever. You gonna have to. Yeah, that's where your survival instinct gonna have to be to <laughs> kill him. I was straight that nigga mama house. You ain't finna throw a grenade in this in this motherfucker's your mama here. Yeah. <laughs> Some niggas really don't care. Hey, same one by myself. <laughs> don't oh, like kill it when I with a bang. They gonna be your ass. What? Kill it when I with a bang. If I got oh, blood, <laughs> I'm gonna still find time to rush your ass. We went out with a bang. My buddy gonna put a helmet in my casket and shoot. <laughs> put a tube belt on your shit. Mm-hmm. With some flowers on that hoe. Yeah, man. You got to end the pick. Yeah. Uh, what we done talking about? What we done talking about? Yeah, shit, we had started talking about niggas with grenades and shit. Oh, yeah, because we, I don't know. Because you, you asked me and D. Kelly what we think about that, we were like, that's they being so. Yeah. You know, when we do yeah, that, that's they being. Over with. <laughs> over with, y'all. Yeah. Don't even worry about it no more. Come Boy, on. you married, that's something different. You know what I'm saying? That don't fall big. Yeah. My man, I mean, I. Especially if she choose to go back, like. That's her bed. If At that point, nobody should give a fuck no more because she want to be there to get the shit beat out of her. On and the then they, they in the legal band and contract. So until that contract end, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? It's marriage. I do feel like the time it was kind of funny though. Yeah. That's what I do feel like that. Cause, you know, a lot of black actors have been coming up, got the dude from Get Out, the, the dude from um All of them British though. Uh, I know. That's that's my thing though. The one time a nigga from here, from America, get right. come up and get right. Y'all like, hey, hey, hell no, he be his wife. But she white though. Man, what's y'all? Yeah, I want this in the pick. Yeah, man. <laughs> oh yeah, man. I got uh, LES just dropped the tape. Y'all know I be on the on the LES. This song called um, "Mushroom Gummies" of LES latest project called "Less Is More" Volume Two. You can get that on all DSPs right now. Shout out Less. Hey man, y'all gotta hit me back, bro. I got the work ready. If you watch the podcast, it's ready. Waiting on y'all. And we got the routes. Me and Sean. <laughs>
<laughs> For your ass, Mr. Postman. Yeah. So this LES with uh mushroom gummies off latest project less is more dollar sign. Ellie dollar sign. We'll be right back. Yeah, it just Lil Wayne been rapping hella longer than Lil Wayne only got two all star verses from his childhood. Blank bring, bring, oh. bring so it back in. He was in, on bro. a lot of songs back then. Bring it back in, bro. But the hey, Ellie Dollar Sign, that was Ellie Dollar Sign with uh You ain't record? Gummy <laughs> mushrooms. That Shroom was Ellie Dollar Sign with mushroom gummies off his latest project called Less Is More. Um I forgot what I was about to do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you forgot to shout these. out to them, Mike Tyson. <laughs> Hold on, y'all. Watch this. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Make it sound like this. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Yeah, man. Uh, um, but this uh, couple past weeks has been a, a big argument in, um, in hip hop. A debate. A debate. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, every time I get on Twitter, DJ and DJ, shout out DJ Envy. He the one started the narrative. You know what I'm saying? Growing up, I used to love New York music, like kind of over South music in a lot of situations. So I would tap in. But then by me being in the South, I get to see that shit too. You know what I'm saying? So a recent argument, debate was 50 Cent would beat Lil Wayne in a versus. <laughs> Considering we're in the South. Shout out to Crunk that motherfucker. Oh, God, that was shook the beer. Yeah. <laughs> but fuck no. What you, what you, what you, who you think going in? Lil Wayne, bro, hand down, landslide, sweep. What you think? Probably Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne. Why y'all say Ain't gonna that? be no sweep. I'm just talking shit. Yeah, Ain't gonna be no sweep. But it's gonna be like, he go, if it was a series, 1 4. <laughs> one four. One four? Yeah. I just it just processed what you said. One four. <laughs> one four? Like the self game seven? Yeah, three. yeah. I agree. Or sweet. Yeah. I don't think it's gonna be no sweet because you got in the club. You got in the club. That's that's your biggest one. In the club, many man, twenty one question. Candy shop. Candy shop would not be yeah. it wouldn't even be lollipop. Um PMP and that's it. That ain't that, shit, that, shit that won't even be Candace. That, that one now nah, that wouldn't be back. Luan can drop back that ass up, my nigga. That ain't fair. Like I said. It's not fair. It's not even fair, bro. 50 Cent would not. He ain't seen Lil Wayne. What are we talking about? Just solo songs from each one. Like yeah, I can't do verses. no features, no other. It's verses, bro. That's what I'm saying. It, it's verses. You got songs, writing credits. Is if you 50 Cent got some. It ain't got. I, let me see. <laughs> see, now if you do Two, it like three, that way, no way, then yeah, 50 Cent. 50 Cent, I'm going to win. No, he But not. if you include Drake and all that as an attachment to Lil Wayne. Will, bro. Yeah, bro. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about as far as like shit that they wrote, you can play that too. It ain't no limit. It ain't, it can't just, it ain't going to be just 20, 50 Cent songs. Look, that's what I'm saying. It's so. going to be 20 songs that 50 Cent held right. It's going to be 20, 50 Lil songs Wayne that he too. featured on. Well, shit, that's like it's saying if Lil Wayne, songs if, that he if, made. if 50 Cent can beat Drake at one. And 50 Cent will beat Lil Wayne in a verse. Will he beat Drake at one? Huh? Will he bro, be Drake at one? I can run it down for If he 90. can't beat Drake at one, he can't beat yes, 50. He, he bro, can't beat Lil Wayne like one. Lil Wayne, like, okay, we all know he the best rapper alive, bro, but the nigga not the best song maker alive. Bro, like, I, let's start in, from the... Let's, I, bro, I... We ain't even gonna I like, up. that nigga is untouchable. Man, this bro. is Lil Wayne. What you finna say to you? He untouchable on the mic. As a rapper, he I'm gonna tell you some shit he can drop. But song, song catalog wise? Fight against a rapper, bro. Now, Drake can probably beat him. Jay-Z can probably beat him, but 50... Bruh, T.I. can beat him. Jeezy can beat him. You working that camera? Huh? You working that camera? The nigga said T.I. and that Young Jeezy will beat no. this nigga. T.I. and Young Jeezy can't beat Lil Wayne in the verses? Hell nah. Well, T.I. and Young Jeezy. Bro, all right, bro. You got... <laughs> nigga came... Bro, you got... Go DJ. You got fucking... How you feel about a fireman? That, bro, you don't even like. That. I don't like Fireman, but folks like that song. That song suck. Well, it don't suck. It Hustle don't suck. I take that back. I take that back. Fireman. This is Officer. That's a hit. That nigga had Bobby Valentino. Like and that's. Bro. <laughs> but see, sound like but my daddy. Is, but it's verses. So it's like. Bling, bling, back that ass up. Do, 
Mixtape. But then the 50 Cent go to mixtape. But what classics do I need a hot girl. Have? 50 Cent got. Um, like like classics. Like, what the fuck? Men and for the keep going. In the club. Oh. Uh, not many, bro. Lil Wayne got classics. They might not have did numbers. 50 Cent did numbers, but them hoes went classic. Look at bro. me now, Chris Cent, Brown. Bro. 50 Cent yeah, definitely bro. got classics, bro. But you not, said 50 Cent got. That's because we in the South, bro. That shit on the classics to us. I think they should be. 50 Cent. Bro, did you hear what I just said? Look at me now. From a cultural standpoint, of course he gonna beat him. But like, from like a song standpoint, nah. Man, all Lil Wayne gotta do, and it's, he let 50 Cent go first. 50 Whatever cent. song 50 Cent play, Lil Wayne just need to play the instrument and rap on that hoe. That song too. Bro, 50 Cent was cool. He had a little, a little run, like a few a years. A strong run. Lil Wayne been in bro, this hole since 98. Bro, that shit was a hostile takeover with 50 Cent. Lil Wayne was here before and after 50. You don't, bro. Man, Lil, 50 Cent need to go against like Nelly or some shit. His run ain't long enough. He not, his arm ain't long enough. Yeah, he need to go against y'all. Nelly or somebody right. like that. His arm ain't long enough. That's just like you saying, he just, uh, he made better some music than Lil Wayne just at this point. Cause Lil Wayne, better music cause Lil Wayne no, still he, can make music that niggas. If he make better music than Lil Wayne, why he ain't still around? <laughs> Bro, niggas don't listen to Lil Wayne now. You just said Lil they, Wayne they is They definitely what in the same. So you get a fifty cent verse on like, Lil Wayne like, verse. Like, guys did, guys Rich did. Rich the Kid came out with a project for Lil Wayne with Lil Wayne. Nobody gave a shit about that. They know, cause Wayne just, he ain't promoted. Lil Wayne what, ain't promote that shit. Bro, it don't matter, bro. We, we, fit it, I'm saying Lil Wayne name don't hold the same weight as it used to back in the G now. Him and 50. That, but that don't mean. I no, know. No, hold on. We, we talking he, about. You moving we, the goalpost now because. Ain't nobody moving yes, the goalpost. Because 50 Cent now ain't hold weight now because he moved into other shit. But not in music. Y'all niggas still be talking His like name that. don't hold weight in music like that. That's what I, Wayne name don't neither right now. That's cow. Today, if this Wayne drop the tape, niggas is that hoe is not going platinum. Bro. That hoe is not breaking no streaming Wayne records. Top five, say what you want. He does. He's time. my favorite rapper. You ain't never heard but nobody say But as far as popularity in, in music and this nigga <laughs> impact <laughs> in music, bro, he <laughs> not he not what he used to be, bro. This nigga. So if Lil Wayne was not wilding over a Wayne verse. So if Lil Wayne was do a dedication, we ain't wilding over no Peter Everybody, no would. Yeah, verse everybody would, but it'll be it'll be hype up until the project <laughs> come out, and then that's it. But yeah, if Fifty Cent nah. drops some shit now, niggas ain't gonna cause Fifty Cent still actively make music with the power and all the movies and shit he be in, and the songs be fire. But people don't give a fuck. I like the song. I got them hoes in my playlist. So I ain't gonna lie. Me too. Them songs still be good. But that ain't, that ain't why I feel like Fifty Cent will beat Wayne. Like. 50 Cent just, when he get to playing the shit he wrote and the shit that the street classics, if Wayne go mixtape, Wayne go street classics from both sides of the spectrum, bro, that shit, pff, niggas gonna be like that. No, that's it, even worse. He gonna get his ass beat more than if he go to mixtape. Mixtape <laughs> Weezy? Bro, bro, stop playing, Mixtape 50 was... What's wrong with this nigga, Mixtape 50 was, was that nigga, bro. Mixtape... Mixtape 50 was that nigga, Give us three songs. Give us three songs. Mixtape 50 was that nigga, Give us three songs. Mixtape 50 was that nigga, Give us three songs. Give us three mixtapes. Give us three mixtapes, goddamn. Bro, y'all, go do your homework, so bro. Ain't no homework. Mixtape 50 said better I'm than Mixtape Weezy. Huh? Mixtape 50 said better than Mixtape Lil Wayne. Mixtape 50 said better than Mixtape Lil Wayne. Mixtape 50 said better than Mixtape Lil Wayne. No. Oh, okay. But the impact when that shit came out, it was wild. Bro. Look, 50 Cent arm um, ain't long enough, bro. His reach ain't long enough. You feel me? His reach ain't long enough, bro. All right. He ain't going to get, you know what I'm saying? He ain't going to be no KO, but. <laughs> nah, bro. It's gonna be like Deontay Wilder and uh, what bro name is? Mike Tyson. No, uh, the dude who always be beating Deontay. Yeah, Tyson Fury. <laughs> but Wayne gonna be Tyson Fury, and then uh, the other nigga gonna be Deontay Wilder. Everybody think Fifty Cent gonna win. Bro, I ain't there. No, everybody DJ think even, Wayne gonna win. Yeah, Darryl, DJ, I can see a lot way more. I heard a lot more people say Fifty Cent to win than Lil Wayne. Bro, see, so you think about just him songs, bro. Bro, no, he not even then. So you think a little Wayne ain't never wrote no song for nobody? Cause if we probably not no hits. But how many features, Lil Wayne, bro? They said Lil Wayne had the the record for features. features in a year. Yeah. I, we was alive. We was outside. 
I know. I'm saying though. So and every one of them all was five. <laughs> so you th- really think even with Fifty Cent songs he wrote, he probably st- he ain't got no his catalog ain't big enough for no one. Oh, everything. Fifty ain't got a twenty songs. Just he could listen. probably beat 50 Cent with just features. He probably, oh, he probably would barely beat him, but he would barely beat him just using features. Then I'd make a whole album out of that shit, too. You think the last too, line? I think he would barely beat him. Because, bro, you got to think about it, bro. He had, I mean, Lil Wayne had Soldier with Destiny Child, old shit like that. Um, God did. Yeah. The Look God at me now. That's... Look at me I'm now, like I said. Fishing alcohol with future. Bro. Um... All right, let's... Yeah. Hell yeah, yeah, fucking right. What 50 Cent ain't got? Huh? Bro. 50 Cent got candy shop. <laughs> <laughs> I literally did lie. I ain't even go, I ain't even go that far. He, that ain't I ain't even go that far. What far? He said drop the world with Eminem. We just saying, like, he can go bro, bigger and better. Bro, bro. <laughs> that ain't fair. Man, y'all need to chill the fuck out. Even though he's features, bro, he can't be. I'm going to tell y'all something that I feel like that's gassed up about Wayne. Wayne didn't get fired to... Wayne didn't, didn't turn into him to after the dedication to... To really to after the Carter two, he ain't turned into him. Carter three when he was him, 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 him certified. I feel like dedication, Wayne and shit, all that shit was gassed up. I feel Pre-fix, like some fix all that shit. I feel like when he did when he what he really wanted to do, that's when that shit went. Crazy. That's when the shit went. You know what I'm saying? Imagine him doing what he wanted to do from the beginning. He wouldn't be Lil Wayne now. Yeah, nah. <laughs> he probably would have been like a backpack rapper. Wayne is undoubtedly the greatest rapper, but I just feel like you know what I'm saying. You gotta think about how how good he must have been rapping the Birdman with like a little playboy. You finna be a nerd, be a backpack rapper. Finna put you in these Gucci's and put you in a Bentley. <laughs> and you gonna rap about the shit I'm doing? We gonna be me in that play, boy. <laughs> they said one used to write that nigga verses. Now go in there Big and write time. me a sweet 16. A 16. Big time bird, man. And, and on yeah, up. Daddy. Probably so. Bro, he probably can't be. <laughs> nah, hell no. Nah. I believe Manny Fresh. Man, man, Fresh was... Hell yeah, you can tell. Lil Wayne can make 50 cents. Most producers st- stumble can stumble with just his features with Drake. Say that again. He can make the nigga, he can get him down on the ropes with just features with Drake. Bro, it ain't gonna happen like y'all think, bro. I'm telling you. It ain't gonna happen like y'all think. I forgot about money to blow. I forgot about money to blow, goddamn. What's the other song? Bro. That ain't fell. What's the other one? So what would so what's what's 50 cent, 50 cent biggest song in the club? Uh I would say 50, to me, that ain't radio hit that he could play that I consider his biggest song. And I just, you know how they be like, nigga, biggest song was the one on the radio. But what would be his finish move in that verse? I can't man. believe it when he on that too. Ooh, so we'll say in man. the club and minute man. Because that T. Wayne era was crazy. Oh, my God. He was not, bro. You really think, I can't believe that Dara said this stupid shit. I'm trying to figure out why he said it. What's, the, try- what's 52 I feel, best I songs? believe it's for content. That's what it is. It's for it got to be. That's you know. <laughs> yeah, just cut everything before this. Hell no, yeah, no, nigga. we better keep this shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, nigga, know what the fuck? Yo, yeah, bro, I'm going to feel how I want to feel, bro. Y'all can't do shit about it. So, I mean, 50 <laughs> Cent going to beat Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne and what? So. <laughs> if they only do songs that they rocked on by themselves, then maybe, but if you broaden that shit, bro. That's what I'm saying. Is it's a broad, it's it's broad, bro. You gotta think about the G Unit era, then the individuals from the G Unit era. Then you got the Lloyd Banks shit. Then you got Young Buck. Then you got Tony Ayo. Like well, when, none when, of those niggas ain't did play, shit when outside. Gonna, when Wayne gonna play when he play? I get money. Mm-hmm. Man, them niggas ain't did shit outside. No, I ain't had Nicki Minaj. He had Drake. He had Tiger. Who else? I'm gutter, gutter. Gutter, gutter. I'm just saying, you was talking about these other, like, bro, Young Money, BG, Hot Boys, all that shit. Bro, Wayne can play that um, money on my mind on that, um, I get money. That shit harder than that, bro, on that Carter 2, that money on my mind. No, it ain't, bro. That, bro, Carter 2 is... 
This is this is real life. The Carter Two is mid. Cap. Okay. Shit. It got a lot of hits on there, but Wayne so wasn't Wayne then? at that point, bro. So how is like, me? Niggas if was it, still gassing. How is me in that whole ride, bro? Compared to all the other albums that came out during that time of the Carter Two, bro, it's like. It's strictly about bars. Right, well, That's that what he talking about. Well, my top five Carters. Don't he only got five? Yeah. Six. And he ain't put out Carter six yet, did he? No, he ain't put out Carter six yet. I thought he ain't oh, But you still can do top five. Yeah, Carter order. six did. I'm, I'm tripping. You still do yeah, top, top five. You can do top yeah, five. Yeah, yeah. five. I would say That's Carter perfect. three. Carter four. Carter... Two, Carter one, then Carter five. You wanna know mine? Yeah. I'm doing that goddamn number five, five, four, three, two, one. That's how I feel about it. Like my favorite one is the Carter. The, yeah. the one that started everything. Yeah. Then you know what I'm saying? Cause near the end, four and five aren't kept for the most. That's when he was getting better to me. Like, even just with that last verse that we just uh played off the off the DJ Drama album, the Lil Wayne verse, he too good. I ain't talking about the rapping though. I'm That's just talking, I'm about, talking about I'm talking about the actual music. I'm just talking about how like how people yeah. I'm talking the the the, the, the listener of the album to me. Like some people feel like Call Three the best, but five. That's washed up, little wine. At that point, all that shit sound dated when it came out. Yeah, I mean some verses that's on that. It's my least favorite. Four is super commercial to me. That's the one with uh, how to love. Man, yeah, I ain't, I want to fuck with that. I ain't even listen to that shit. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, three, which one that is? The one where you are. Uh, we are not the same. I am a Martian. Yeah, yeah, that's the song. Oh, I thought you said Nelly. Amelia, yeah. I hate Amelia. Yeah, that was yeah, definitely Amelia. three. Amelia. Niggas gas the shit Number two out of had too. Hustler Music, Money on My Mind. Yeah. Yeah. Two. It had Cash Money Million there, too, didn't it? Yep. I got a bitch in the back. Got, got a, a hole, hole in the, in the front. front. I think that's on the car. No. That ain't, that ain't two. That is, too. I can Google Keep that shit because it's not on the car. I know for a fact it's not on the car. I think that was on the card too. Yeah, that was on dedication. No. Yeah, that was on dedication. But that was, I, bro, I remember that, bro. That was on, with Remy Ma was on that feature. That's when yeah. he was on that currency. Yeah. But it was on the album. Nah, that's what it came, yeah, because it was on what it came. It was on the album, though. Wait, wait. The cash that went on that, bro. I remember that. That was on dedication once. Cash Money Millionaire? My bad, dedication too. The song? Bro, y'all, bro. I've been listening. That was when he first pulled out currency, bro. Bro, y'all listen to a nigga that got ever that got Lil Wayne debut album. Bro, that was dedication too. What a cash I remember. And had Guerrilla Warfare. Tell you. Yeah, I had Hot Boys Guerrilla Warfare. I had Guerrilla Warfare too. Because it was like number three on that whole so fire. Oh, nigga, I had. Man, the man, French had made like a uh, a little drummer boy. Like an actual, you know, the one that. I know, that was on the card. What? Cash yeah, Money Millionaires. It, it was on the car. Yeah, y'all right. It went on, 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 on dedication, though. I think I meant to like that. Nothing, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> oh. Wayne used to be trying to run like Buster Rhymes. It was on the car. I was just about to look it up, too. But, yeah. Yeah, that that order. Even, shit, that make it even more. That's oh, why yeah, I missed my, my dogs one. on there. That's why, that's, that's my favorite, bro. That's a good classic. Yeah, Earth, um, Shine with Jesse Cash Payne. Cash Money Millionaire. Yep, bring it back. Yeah, I always felt like that song was so slow though. What did that Lil Wayne bring it back? Bring it Bro, back. I used to like that's that was the era where you had to get on the computer and uh, go to their website and order yeah. this to the song. I used to be sitting in school like, hey, teach that don't get on that computer. But that song, really, I wanted the song to download so I can listen to that. <laughs> Bro. That song, bro, I always felt like that song slipped on because man, the first snap on, on that beat, that beat oh. hard as fuck. And I feel like Lil Wayne right now too. <laughs> He wasn't he wasn't told you yet. He was still trying to grow to be the that best rapper alive. I like, feel like that was when he was like, bro, I'm sick of doing this commercial, bro. Just let me. It's like when a nigga fast street ball, but then he gotta go to the NBA. Yeah. And like, nigga was like, bro, fuck that NBA, bro. I'm just gonna be the best street mm -hmm. ball alive. That's mixtape one. Yeah. Yeah. Awardy. Awardy. 
I'm breaking back on the bottom. Yeah, we was talking about Bird, man. Speaking of Bird, man, uh, Earn Your Leisure put out the top 10 hip hop CEO list. Bird, man, made the list. This is a hey, fun fact about Bird, man. I, you know, I said I watched the, um, the Iceberg Slim documentary. Yeah. Why Bird, man, popped up in his hub? He, <laughs> Doing what? They got a publishing company where they publish all Iceberg Slim books. It's called Cash Money Content. I said, Birdman. Oh, I Avenue. swear to God, I said, I said, look at, look at Birdman. Shout out to Birdman. I didn't even know these <laughs> niggas had a uh, book publishing company. That's hard. Sure, baby. I said, that's hard. Shout out to Birdman. Shout out to Birdman. Bird. He probably ain't get no money off them books. Probably talking about Birdman. Yeah, them Birdman books. Yeah, but he did anyway. Top 10. Yeah. Top 10, um, songs on the list. I mean, uh, all time hip hop record label CEOs at number 10, Irv Gotti. Number nine, Jermaine Dupri. Number eight, Suge Knight. Number seven, Master P. Number six, Dame Dash. Number five, Coach KMP. Number four, Baby. Number three, Russell Simmons and Rick Rubin. Number two, Diddy. And number one, Jay Z. Okay, bro. Get off Jay Z, dick. Okay. Take Diddy down like hell a yeah, matches. a lot of them hoes. P Wait, Diddy, P Diddy at number two. Man, take. I don't know what the criteria Cause, cause is. Because Biggie and Mace little run, this little quick little. But Diddy had a lot of artists. But the only yeah, thing yeah. with Diddy is Diddy couldn't keep artists. Man, all take, his artists. If you notice, like if you take samples away from Diddy, what he got? Shit. Nothing. No, nothing at all. He still got a. He still got a. Uh, Post era. He said he ain't got shit. J. Blige. He still got. Damn, you right. Take away samples would never make Kanye West. But I'm just saying, though, get out of this dick. Why get out? Nah, you think Rockefeller? I'm Pause. just saying, you. <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> Goddamn. <laughs> but y'all really. He, I guess. Because he. I guess. Bro, that nigga. Two. I guess. Ma- nigga what, made a billion was dollars yeah, in six months. Yeah, you right. You right. <laughs> what you mean? What number was Master P? I wasn't looking at it like that. I was looking at it like I'm. I'm forgetting Jay Z was. Yeah, you right. Yeah. But what number was Master P? Uh, number seven. I feel like who? He was before Sugar Knight. Yeah, number Sugar Knight was at number eight. Okay. Okay. I feel like Jermaine Dupri probably should be up a little higher. Dr. Dre on there? This, I, I want this based off cultural impact. Is Dr. Dre on there? No. Oh, that list wrong as fuck. But Dr. this was Earn Your Leisure shit, though. And 50 Cent. And 50 Cent. And, and Kendrick, Apple. Kendrick Lamar's first album. And, you know? and, and Beats by Dre. Like, stop. Yeah. <laughs> And he just did another so deal why did, Okay, so what was the list based on? From the looks, it got to be... It has to be financial because it's... It's the uh, earn your leisure. But if this is going off like a cultural impact, Coach K and Coach P should be number 10. They couldn't be going off. If they left Dre off completely, it ain't... But they be did just impact. sell QC for like $100 million. It got to be about business. It got to be about business. <laughs> it has to be. Cause we don't even listen to it. We just said Lil Wayne, I mean 50 Cent to get demolished by Lil Wayne and we don't even fuck with Eminem, but you you be just blind if you don't know. What's man. the top ten list? This is the top ten all time hip hop record label CEOs. Oh yeah, yeah. About business. It is about business. Yeah. Yeah, because Irv got to definitely been inking hella deals. And then they probably made a lot of money in that era too. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I mean, Jay Z made a billion. Like I you think said. they should have swapped Dr. Dre for Irv Gotti. That's why I was finna say get off Jay Z dick, because I thought it was about cultural impact too. Jay Z had cultural impact. Rockefeller too, but it didn't it didn't it didn't I don't feel like it just like I mean solidify one. Culturally though, the if if we this is going straight off culture, the biggest impact on culture, it gotta be Birdman. Gotta be the number one CEO. Yeah. If it's all culture impact, Birdman yeah. supposed to be number one. Then I would go 
Diddy. Cause Diddy brought that flash of shit to rap like on a whole nother motherfucking level. That's the reason why these little niggas today is super diamond ice. Man, my like death row had <laughs> Snoop Big and Pop. Yeah, not this. Big, but Snoop Dre and Pop. Yeah, then sure. And they prime era too. Yeah, then P. Then P. Herb Gotta wouldn't even be on this list. <laughs> <laughs> if we talking about culture, yeah. Okay. See, yeah. <laughs> that shit. We should have known when he started with T. <laughs> <laughs> That's some wild shit. That's just as wild as um. Come on, the ugly ass segways. <laughs> no, and this is some wild shit. Afro man getting sued by the police department because he made a music video out of the surveillance footage of this police wrongfully raiding his house. Didn't J Cole do that? Show sure, yeah, what yeah. the neighbors think I'm selling yeah, dope. dope. That nigga was calling one. Of he the made a music offices. video, did it? Yeah, he did. It was a music. I video. thought that was the music video. The footage from. The I video. thought what I had saw was he was performing and it was on the screen. He put it out for a visual too. Yeah. Now y'all know if I look this shit up and I don't see that shit. But it's looking up right now. Yeah. You love that. You love that song. That album for your eyes only. Yeah. That album was kind of straight. though. Look, I ain't even like, like this. Says man. the same nigga. I ain't like that song. Mid. He is mid, but that don't mean nigga don't make good music. For your eyes only was mid. I don't even like the uh the thing I never think I'm selling dope. Oh yeah, he did. Okay, okay. And I then, mean, <laughs> Judd look like man, don't doubt me. <laughs> Judd be right like nine out of ten. Yeah. You see that 10 terabyte head? He couldn't decide which one. Say he got that 10 terabyte head. <laughs> That's a lot of goddamn we got space. Database on money, cloud in that motherfucker. We got to pay this nigga fifteen ninety nine a month <laughs> to be a friend. <laughs> to be a friend. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, I remember everything for you. Is that John got a ten terabyte? That fifteen ninety nine a month, motherfucker. <laughs> hey, it look like that computer bigger than Doob Daddy used to have. <laughs> That so already bad. they had a computer that was like a big ass room. The whole room was like a computer. One big stupid ass computer. Computer room. Yeah, man. That's dumb as hell, man. What we got next, man? That's uh Yeah, and you say how you feel about the Afro man thing. Oh, that shit was funny. Oh, okay. You how they gonna sue him though? Huh? What they gonna sue him for? Because he made it a music video, he put it out to the people he gonna get paid from streams and shit. Then he made merch. One of them said Officer Lemon Butter Pound Cake because the nigga ate his Lemon Pound Cake on the video. <laughs> no. Bro, they was in that hole tweaking out. No, it was just a cake. He put out like two or three shirt designs. That shit was ugly as hell, but... Yeah, I could believe he's Afro Man. <laughs> he's Afro Man, yeah. bro. Yeah. And it was like the first weed rapper on the radio. <laughs> Hey. A deliberate song outside of Cloud Nine and uh Rick James. Yeah. And BBD. What I was gonna say. Oh. We <laughs> build the vote. We ain't, last week we ain't get we ain't get the pot. Mm-hmm. We ain't get a t- chance to talk about that video where they were like two fifty in food stamps or date with soldier. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, we talked, we uh we had asked Kenny Black. Oh, for real? Yeah, yeah, she said she gonna take the food stamps. <laughs> she said she definitely take a food stamp. Bro, was that shit funny when y'all see bro, what, I think the funniest thing was... His response. Yeah, bro. <laughs> you see what he put out the other day for apologizing to New Jersey? Because he said, fuck New Jersey. Yeah. So he in the middle of apologizing. I mean, he in the middle of the lie. He get on there. He like... You could tell that his PR made him do this. Yeah. Because he literally like, man, but... New Jersey, I am sorry. Talking shit, and then the nigga had come in the section like, "Fuck that nigga, you bad." That nigga said, "Now nah, you know what? Fuck New Jersey." <laughs> <laughs> so was wearing your flash out like that. He ready to come in and say, "Now nah, fuck that, fuck New Jersey, nigga." I ain't never gotta go to New Jersey, so it don't matter, nigga. Big soldier, nigga. <laughs> soldier boy, Ray J, bro. I ain't fit to walk from New Jersey. Huh? Ain't fit to walk from New Jersey? Yeah. 
Fed a while, locked up. He still got new songs coming out on the radio. That's crazy, boy. And they got a new song. I used to hate that nigga. Yeah, new them too. yams. Can I, I get want to the you yams? to be mine <laughs> sweet, again. Sweet. No, he got another song that I heard on the radio about a week and a half ago. It don't. It's a it's a brand. They was like brand new Fetty Wap. Yeah. I was like, damn, this nigga in jail. That ain't even his song, that yam song. <laughs> Not that song. It was another song. I know. I'm just saying that ain't even his song. Folks don't even know that. And that song been out since like 2017. That nigga was so irritating to me. I can stand Fed Wap. The dude with his music. Masego, the yeah. original dude of the song. I used to play that song. I used to laugh. <laughs> My homeboy used to love Fiddle Walk when he first came out. That Trap Queen. Yeah. Because dude used to go around. He used to ride all in through the hood all day with his girl. <laughs> shit like that. You feel me? So he was going, he was going, you know what I'm saying? Like living life every day with her, you feel me? So when that song come on, and I get high with my baby. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? But that nigga, he sound he was yodeling or some <laughs> shit. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh. Zoe boy. The first thing he said, Remy boy. What's oh, crazy the is the first time I heard it was on Yo Got It um, mixtape. He had like five or six songs out at one time. No, not when I heard it on uh, Yo Got It mixtape. That's literally the first time I heard it. That's when it popped in like this downhill on Yo Got It mixtape. Yeah, remember when they got them extensions? Man, yeah, that boy had like Jimmy he, Butler. Bro, that nigga had a haircut, bro. And then when everybody seen his ass again, this nigga had long ass dreads. Dreads, yeah. And we, he ain't never looked back. He kept them hoes. He ain't never look back. <laughs> what the fuck? He Bro, treated them all like they were here. Huh? He treated them all like they were here. And then nobody, it's like everybody just forgot. Yeah. That's that choir as hell. I ain't forget. I always just think about that when I see this nigga. That, I'm like, that ain't his. Well, it probably eventually ended up being his real hell. He had it for a minute, bro. <laughs> he went to jail with that shit recently. <laughs> That's his hell. He bought it. That's what they both say. I bought Wait, it. I remember when uh, that nigga Miska, yeah, remember the nigga Miska used to wear that motherfucker uh, Maxine Shaw. <laughs> that long. <laughs> Jay the Piggy at the end of said it all. Oh, God. Now, that nigga Mac, I mean, that, that nigga Miska was a wild nigga, boy. <laughs> we, I, I, I couldn't I imagine recording that. that nigga, cuz. That shit would probably be so fucking funny. <laughs> Remember on that wobble wobble shaking shake? He said, Back that! Woo! I thought I told you! <laughs> then he's like, Oh, no, 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 no. Yo, we're gonna come through and stomp your bitch. And then, you know, being cool, an engineer, cool. you can hear how distorted the shit is. Right nigga was loud as fuck. We said, Oh! Yeah. That shit was so fucking distorted. And the engineer probably was trying to turn the shit. They don't like, oh, be cool, be cool. <laughs> Bro, this girl was His verse on that was song with Lil Wayne. I'm not Lil Wayne. Lil John was kind of wild too. Remember that, um, remember that, uh, he was on that, I don't give a fuck when. Yeah, I just listened to that song. <laughs> yeah, he okay. was his verse. <laughs> you know he was crazy because his intro was, <laughs> <laughs> like he just cribbing your ass, the skill your ass. <laughs> <laughs> he cribbing the bitch. I fuck with Miska though. Oh, he hey, Miska was hard as fuck though. I, I love his, like, I think I had his first two, not his first two, but the f- first two with, K- who was with Cash Money or No Limit? Cash Money. He was with No Limit at first, and then he wind up getting with Cash. Then he went back to Jive. So the one, then he I think it was the one on Cash Money that uh, Tarantula, Tarantula, and the one before. Uh, That's the one I had with the five unpredictable, behind, unpredictable, not unpredictable. It was the one that had the uh, the song on that was Outcast, Neck of the Wood. Do 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 do. Let me know you know that. No, that ain't it. Because Under Three Thousand spazzed out on their ass on that. Nigga, Miss Black. Ooh. <laughs> Back up. Whoa. <laughs> I told you. You got Unpredictable Ghetto Fabulous. That was, that was the one yeah. I put with. Unpredictable Ghetto Fabulous. I and had you, the orange one and Tarantula. The orange one. And I had Unpredictable too, the one with the puzzle pieces on his face. Yeah. Now, you made a valid point, bro. That nigga had box braids. <laughs> Box break, box break, box. Oh box break. You probably oh. talking about either. That boy's a wild nigga. He getting that whole yelling. I'm like, what the fuck wrong? What this nigga on? Nigga, sit your ass. Down. Well, sit your ghetto ass down, bitch. <laughs> but look, bro, the ghetto ass over here yelling. Yo, Ali. Yo, Ali, dog. Yo, Ali, bitch. You probably talking about Prince of the South. Cause they had Danger bouncing back. Yeah, that's the one I had. That was the green one. Shake your ass. <laughs> <laughs> what nigga made a song? Whichever one had big truck boys on there. Oh. 
They used to be one of my favorites. Like, doo, 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 doo. Yeah. Dang. But he said he wanted to be the James Brown of rap, though. I can tell that boy said, Danger! Watch your back! Get out of the flow! <laughs> the nigga right, Jim! Sing it! <laughs> it's a- <laughs> <laughs> he forced her head to say, Sing it! <laughs> it's a love! It's a love! Danger! Oh, so please, oh, don't hit me. I'm saying it's so you. <laughs> what he said, he walked in. These you say he walked in with his dick in his hand. I'm gonna walk in the club with my dick in my hand. Don't make me leave with my foot in your ass. On the radio, said make me leave with my foot in your. Ooh, be cool. That man's a wild. That's a wild. Imagine that nigga with some box braids walking in with his dick in his hand. I'm going to shoot that Bro, that's a wild boy. He think he got all these rape charges. He walked I in. I remember when he used to come to the club, Rain and just sit in the back of the club, bro. Probably had his dick in his hand. Wow, On the regular. I walk in with my dick, dick in, in my, my hand. hand. Don't make me leave with my, my foot, foot in your ass. ass. That means just leave him alone. Don't bother him while he got his dick in his He's hand. He's a nasty fella. <laughs> but like, boy, you got your dick in your hand? <laughs> you don't supposed to see this. You don't supposed to see. I'm gonna leave my foot in your way. <laughs> Misk was on some hits. He had a little run for a second though. We definitely gotta really read did. this nigga lyrics. Cause he, he yeah, yeah, he was on Move Bitch when, that song. when he on that Ludacris Move Bitch. He had to be. That wouldn't put he nobody was. else other oh, than God. that nigga on that song. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was on there. Who else would you put on that motherfucker? <laughs> VIP up in the club, so we starting to fuck. I got a feel for that Remy. <laughs> fuck that Buck and Chris. I'm got nigga, so he was seven feet tall. That nigga, nigga, he was seven feet tall. Street clothes, we all street. We on the dance floor, throwing bowls, beating up hoes. <laughs> I'm from the deck, try to disrespect DTP and watch the father start flying from the VRP. Say that nigga's around like this. From the father start flying at the VRP. <laughs> like it felt like he was a head person on the uh, like you remember his shots, the mask on. <laughs> that nigga got shot by DJ on, on Hustle and Flow. For the butter store popping up the VIP. Because they made him look like the worst. <laughs> he said, nigga look like they hide this voice on the drug documentary. Yeah. On Vice Land. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we used to rob the gas station. Go in there with your card first. <laughs> 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 they had the weakest ass disguises on that hole. Like they forgot the oh damn the goddamn vlog from you. <laughs> like it bit from the Yeah, I can tell it's me. <laughs> it look like me. Where are 20 men up to? All right, Miss Good. We're gonna read the a verse from here I go. Y'all motherfuckers better get ready to rumble. <laughs> Back in the ring like a jungle. Spicy like gumbo. Spice on the burger. Y'all motherfuckers ain't ready. Hey, them boys get them bitches. <laughs> what a cut in that ass. <laughs> and sharp as a machete. Dope, I don't do herbs. I do. <laughs> that nigga lying and took it back. <laughs> you bitches probably couldn't see me with a bird's so eye view. Ooh, it's alive. Finna lop. <laughs> Gonna lop your head, speed. <laughs> oh, fuck. Stop walking. Hold on. Stop walking the one way too much. Stop. Stop walking the one way to a fucking dead end. Bitch, you yellow cow hearted. Better bring some water. Get the gas and he can go. Get this fucking fire started. Your heart jump like a bass drum walking. You bad enough to meet the alligator in the swamp. Boy, that nigga didn't rhyme at all. He just got on that whole discipline, your ass. Uh-huh. <laughs> and you believed it. He had it just like that nigga. It, I seen that one nigga, cuz he was finna get jumped, cuz it was like 15 niggas finna jump this nigga, bro. He just got the bucking so loud and so bad, bro. Nigga, like, bro, I don't even wanna jump this nigga no more. <laughs> <laughs> When they, had left, when they had left, he said, bro, my mama, I thought they were going to jump me, but I ain't even got no gun. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga bluffing too hard, but that nigga talking so much shit, cuz. <laughs> Y'all little bluffed y'all way out of a fight. I ain't got no fight in so long, I don't know. <laughs> then we gonna fight a week now, goddamn. True fact. Next up, uh, niggas out here buying a blue check for fourteen ninety nine a month. How y'all feel about that? I think it's, I just think paying for social media is fucking stupid. 
Include marketing and shit too. Just that no, just being on that hoe. Yeah, that is stupid. They paying to, to be that. on that hoe. They literally paying to go outside to be who you are. But to be verified, like I guess because the value they didn't built behind the blue check, it's like they're really that person. But at this point, like if you over, if you over twenty two, that shit don't make you no money them, though. It don't do nothing that's for you. That's childish shit to care about a, a blue check. That, that shit don't, that literally does nothing for you, but cost you fifteen dollars. And that shit free on dating sites. What to be verified? They actually will bug you and email you like, hey, you haven't checked your email to verify who you are. And you actually <laughs> get a blue check on that. I remember last time I was on dating websites, that shit was on there. That was like, they say by it's two, for, by three years ago. They say it's for like, so nobody can't fake like it's you. For AI can't fake like it's you. Well, that's what they getting you ready for. Hmm. Damn, they ushering that shit in. Ushering it in. If you don't want your identity to be took by AI, pay your fifteen dollars a month. <laughs> Get that blue check on your life. Man, license. they bu- <laughs> making a tax for social. The scam was gonna find a way to go crazy with that shit. Watch. You gonna have to pay fifteen dollars a month. No, I'm talking about they gonna find a way to tax. Oh, just don't t- bring your ass to social media. Don't bring your ass to social media. But if you don't, it could be a whole nother nigga out here who who. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, it's that deep. <laughs> it's definitely that deep. Bring not in fake accounts. It's a scam on folks. You right. They going to they crazy. Make you a fake somebody page. Well, you like, got to You know, niggas need. used to sell their verified pages, though. They yep. probably what they were missing out on. Yup. Our niggas was just selling pages in general. Once they found out how to get verified and shit like that, mm-hmm. charge somebody to do that shit. Now, I know niggas used to buy other niggas' verified pages. I know just people that been that paid shit. to be verified, like a few thousand But I'm saying the people that's selling it, like, yeah, you can get these old charges. I can do it again, goddamn. But you know what's going to kill it in the black culture, though? What that? They're going to be like, boy, that's some broke boy shit. That shit ain't number $14. I ain't finna do that broke-ass nigga shit. Like, that's how the love, the, the new young niggas with money. I, I bet that's how they going to look at it. I think that's just some vanity shit, though. And then that's just going to kill like- the whole... Cause they gonna see we ain't picking up on it, so they ain't gonna pick up on it, and then they ain't gonna make no money. That's just the effect of black culture. I don't know. I call a nigga phone to see if he real. I don't know. Like Facetime him on the app. I just called him. Like, like how the fuck do you meet somebody and not know who the fuck <laughs> they real or not? You what y'all what think mean? that do to the psyche of, the, of like the kids at school that folks can't afford fifteen dollars a month for them? But they feel like that's what they need to be like verified as Let me come let me ask me why I ain't got no verified. The kids need to ask their mom, like, what the fuck? I'm telling you, bitch, because I ain't paying for it. What the fuck is you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> why not though everybody at school got it? That's they yeah. Yeah, like you know that that person real. You can see them every day. But it's on the internet. Fuck out the spot, bro. At school, they wouldn't talk to me because I ain't had no blue check on my Instagram. I get why they doing it, but you're looking for like how many times you scroll on Facebook and it's been a couple of months. <laughs> wait, wait, just yeah. strolled on Facebook. <laughs> Take a stroll, nice little stroll on Facebook. <laughs> Got you a nice little stroll down the street, right. down Facebook lane, walking on that damn Facebook, right. strolling. Go ahead, oh my bad. But if you can if you can do that, all you gotta do is pay for it. You don't gotta verify who you is, then, bro. I don't know how this shit work. Cause yeah. I ain't I ain't gonna do it. See, we they need to make an app where in order to add somebody as a friend, you actually gotta meet that person and meet that nigga in person. And y'all tap phone or some shit. Like I actually met Dad Superior, man. He's actually a real person. <laughs> See, now we friends. That don't require met. niggas to actually have to communicate though. That's the part, cause y'all ever been friends with somebody on Facebook. And y'all been friends for so long, then you meet them in real life, then they be like weird as fuck. <laughs> and you be like, bitch. That's what they need to do. Invent an app like that. The only way that I can see JT to add this nigga as a friend is if I actually meet him and we touch our phone shit. Like, we actually met each other. I, I know. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that shit like a vanity. I already said that it is vanity. It's the scroke niggas' egos. Them blue shit and shit ain't never meant shit to me. Because, and then, it, the one... Cause if you, you do, have one. if you pay for that I shit, I seen niggas buy one. If you, you know pay for that shit on Twitter, 
at least Twitter, it come with stuff. You can do shit on there. You can edit the tweet. Niggas been saying they want their feature for the longest. You can edit a tweet even though you just need a proofread. You still don't need to buy that hoe, but at least they got features that code this shit. That's crazy. You gonna make... They, they make you pay for your mistake. <laughs> at least feature, it come with That's features fine. and shit. You know what I'm saying? You can, like, have certain people see the tweet and... You know what I'm saying? It's little, it's little shit. I still wouldn't pay for it, but Instagram is literally nothing. Yeah. Not that I know of. I don't know. But... I ain't never did it. It's, it don't make sense. It's to each his own, for real. You, you can't get set up without that little shit. Because I, I had to think about it. A lot of niggas get set up on living in New York. They'll find little bad chicks or whatever, and they be, <laughs> and they get, they be inboxing and shit like that. So you can't get set up on that, that, that blue check shit. Like that blue check on it. Set up how? How? Yo, look at bro. That same thing with a bad little Instagram shot, right? Yeah, okay. And a nigga trying to talk to her with a shit like that, Okay. She probably got the nigga probably what's if it was a nigga behind the screen or the bad little Instagram girl. He, he probably got his cash app up under there. Bro, FaceTime, like, my nigga. I mean, yeah. You can, but some niggas don't be think about shit. Two minutes uh... And if she just play now if she if you FaceTime her and it's her, but her nigga right uh, her homeboy, her nigga right here scam, both of them scamming you together. Yeah, yeah, you just got your ass played. Right. Some niggas don't be some niggas just be so horny they don't be thinking about this shit. You ever been in that position? Hell no. Uh, bro, it's no reason people should still be getting catfish in twenty twenty three. You'll be surprised. I mean, okay, but they fucking stupid because it ain't no reason why you shouldn't. Bro, y'all All this shit out bro. here. Huh? Nah, uh, you shame people, shaming people, bro. bro Stop here. They got yeah. FaceTime, Uvu, Skype, Zoom, Google Meet. They got anxiety, bro. Snapchat, they Facebook. Got anxiety, bro. Man, well. <laughs> I'm just telling you how it works. <laughs> they got anxiety, bro. On oh, God. Get your ass on. I ain't on. never been through that, but when you watch Catfish, get your ass like, out the streets. I had anxiety. <laughs> That's the first thing people run to when they get caught in some stupid shit. I had anxiety. I Bro, that's a way out. You seen that girl? It's a girl. She like a, a catfish all star. She been out on like eight times, bro. If you don't press, she don't get no fuck. It's a bitch big, a mess of disguise. A big old yellow girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. They Every time they see her, bro, they just get Remember mad. Remember that movie? Come on, mess of disguise. Turtle, turtle. Turtle, turtle, yo. He said, am I not turtle enough for the turtle? Turtle club? Am I not turtle enough for the turtle? Turtle, turtle, turtle. <laughs> Why people so fucking quiet? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That movie was funny as hell. Now he, I, I don't think I could date an actress. Cause you're it's a professional liar. <laughs> think i a professional imaginary people. And women not ready to be faking enough. Yeah. You don't want nobody that's good as fuck at faking. Amazing. Amazingly. Award winning fake stress. I want to start acting. For real? You think you'd be good at it? Yeah, nah, but... What kind of movie? Practice, you like, if you practice, you can get good at anything. What kind of movie you want to be in? It don't matter, got there. I ain't playing no gay roles, though. Cha -cha, shout out to y'all, <laughs> But I'm not doing it. You dodging all the muscle. Yeah, nah. Because folks can't, don't understand the difference between TV and real life no more. That's like they be treating the TV is. That's crazy. They be that treating these fake. folks on shows like it be them in the street for real. Yeah. So hell no. Nah. I ain't doing no fucking no. fuck no. <laughs> what kind of movie you would be in? Like an action. An action movie? Yeah. What kind like a I like I I want to be in an autobiography, play somebody. I see. I'm good at marking people. You can play Suge Knight. I get so tired of hearing that. What up, Suge? One day I'm gonna pop out and hit somebody out with a car. <laughs> See how funny that shit is. I bet you, yeah, you need to just dress up in all red one day. When you say your head ball, just dress up in all red. I'm gonna come in this and do the whole pod like that. What what kind of movie you would be in? I definitely wouldn't be in Fast and Furious. You would? Hell no. Nah, you would probably be like on like an instructional TV show. Yeah. Decaling, like, put shit together. Yeah, like, a show that show you how shit made and shit. Yeah. 
Oh man, uh, Milf, what's that show? Milf Busters. Milf Busters. It'd be a show like niggas yeah. just taking ass through other people's factories and shit yeah. like that. That's gonna be my <laughs> shit. Like, hey, y'all wanna what go to the Golden what, Flake what Factory? What job to be? You know, so, uh, Disney superhero? <laughs> I'm on the villain case. Nah, Jack gonna be here. <laughs> What's that uh, undercover boss? He gonna play every episode. <laughs> <laughs> he gonna have like a he nice gonna... your ass up in the job. <laughs> <laughs> she gonna be head over heels. He has something in there. <laughs> His ass gonna go to Crystal's try to act <laughs> like he worked there. No, wait, we know you. <laughs> we know you. Yeah, you know I'm boss. Yeah. <laughs> hey, boy, you done been on every. <laughs> And somebody gonna be like, ain't hey, that the nigga from home? Yeah, bro. <laughs> that nigga working at all. What's called down the street, last week? That show was funny as fuck, though. Then they, they gonna get out of work and see him at the shave ice truck. They gonna be like, God <laughs> damn, damn, man. Nigga just nigga sold me a don't burger. play. <laughs> man, that show was funny. They gonna think it's some juggernaut twins walking around there. Oh, that nigga just working so hard. <laughs> yeah, <I did. laughs> Damn, John, get the ball off you, bro. Man, don't let that man do you like that, bro. Nigga said, Juggernaut. <laughs> <laughs> Where that came from again? It's a juggernaut twin, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> that should just sound big, like the head big. Like <laughs> well, you made that up. <laughs> that sound like a real concert. <laughs> that should just sound like they got the motherfucking dog pee. <laughs> and they always be together. <laughs> they call their big head ass. <laughs> oh, we get fucked. <laughs> Whew. Real tears, my boy. <laughs> oh, shit, shit, man. <laughs> oh, man, this is important, though. We probably should have talked about this at the top of the pod. The U.S. dollar is no, uh, no longer about to be the most powerful dollar in the country. Uh, <laughs> I don't even see how the China, fuck people Russia, thought it was. and all them got together as a gang, and they said, fuck the U.S. dollar. China leading the regime against that the we U.S. Owe dollar. All them. Yo, we owe Japan a uh like two hundred trillion or some shit like that. Twenty two trillion dollars or some shit like that. Basically what's finna happen, cause it's just like if Teasy, if I owe Teasy two hundred trillion dollars, bro, he let me live cause I owe him. But you like, man, fuck that nigga. I pay his debt off. Come be my friend. Let that nigga drown. Cause he can't do shit without you, cause he owe you. So they all ganged up and said, fuck them. But that's going to, like, decentralize the dollar, though. Like I'm just saying, that's just what happened. You do not still got to make that shit right, whatever it is. I believe, I believe we in the midst of a war, bro. And the that, war started with COVID. The war, I think the war started, once you take a nigga resources away, think about it, that's all they doing. We use that for their resources. So they take our resources away, and they oh, click shit, up the gut on that end. Hell yeah, they can start the war. Because now war. we got to pay for our own, we got to pay for our own war now. Alibaba clothing designers is finna be hurt. Cause that Japan tax on the shipping is finna be <laughs> now. Any company that use them, the sales tax gonna go up cause the dollar like <sighs> got Alibaba niggas better go sit in front of a sewing machine, Jack. That's what I told y'all the other day. Y'all ain't got no drugs or no guns. I don't know what you gonna do. Deep down, I'd be talking crazy, though. Yeah, unless you know how to work AI. <laughs> we all straight in this room. <laughs> True facts. Yeah, man, there's some crazy shit finna go on. I be thinking about that shit. I'm like, bro, there's some crazy shit finna happen. I don't know what the fuck finna happen. There finna be some history book shit, though. Yeah. We already that. in it, though. You know what I'm saying? We done lived a lot of events that's gonna be in history books, if you think yeah. about it. Just yep. for the past five years. Shit, even the new one. Y'all seen that crazy-ass white girl went up in that school and killed them kids, bro? Y'all seen how that bitch ran through the door with the stick? She, as soon as she got to the front door of the school. <laughs> no, she just did two times. She wasn't even wasting bullets. Uh, 
She hit that bitch two times just enough to break that glass. Yeah. She was not bullshit. Yeah. She was she on went a mission. In that to kill. Oh man. God, she wasn't wasting no bullets. She went on a mission, bro. She was white. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. She was like twenty three. Said she used to go to the school. The kids was white. What was the reason? I didn't because I already know how the situation. You see, it's already swept up under the rug. Like, mm-hmm. ain't nobody else talking about that shit. The president was in a room trying to show them how to do some other shit opposed to addressing the issue like the president's supposed to do. Fake calm the people down, reassure them it's going to be okay. You the leader. You already know what's up type shit. They ain't did that shit in none of these recent uh, shootings, though, at church and school. And they ain't trying to figure out why these schools ain't got security where it's kids at. It's way more kids than adults. So that's way more problems than you can solve, technically. Every school should have automatic. You know, daycares got ratios. It's like one adult to like maybe three or four children. Mm-hmm. It's not like that at schools. So. No, nah, but that was this happened at a school, though. I know. I'm talking about at bigger schools, they need something like that. Mm-hmm. Like if it's that many children in this school, then it got to be this many adults. Yeah. Just to- or just in general, bro, because when I was in, when I was in, Kindergarten, I ran away from school. I, pl- I literally plotted my day out. I remember my dad talk about that shit all the time. I remember I was in the fifth grade, I mean, kindergarten, and my brother had to go to the doctor. And I was like, the di- I just always felt like the doctor was a bad place. That way they give you shots and shit. Like, it hurt going to the doctor when you look. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, shit, I got to- my brother don't need to go through that shit. So I was <laughs> like, when we come back from lunch, when my teacher walk in the bathroom with the girl, she used to do that shit every day. I was like, I'm going out this door right here. I had already told myself that shit in my head. As soon as my teacher turned her head and went to the bathroom, I got it, dipped out the door. I started hollering ass <laughs> on the street. I'm finna run from <laughs> Got them blank that out. Finna run from <laughs> and go to Dr. Dawkins' office. Because you remember his shit was in Homewood. Is it still mm-hmm. in, on Green Spring? On Valley. On Valley. I knew how to Metro get there from my school. So I was finna try to go there. Mm. And say your so, brother. Yeah. So the nigga from <laughs> <laughs> the nigga from Smash Bros. The fat nigga on Smash Bros. Yeah. Ladarius. His grandma stopped me literally around the corner, snatched me up, put me in the car, took me in the office. This baby was around the corner. And y'all weren't even paying attention. <laughs> and I'm mad because I'm like. Bro, you starting. When she asked me, she was like, you supposed to be in school? I was like, no, nah, I'm grown. <laughs> <laughs> With a uniform on. But, bro, a kid. I'm a fucking child. I'm still a child, bro. But, like, schools don't have enough security, bro. <laughs> Even in high school, bro, this we used nigga, to leave that bitch. for to go on an adventure. <laughs> Man, my nigga, uh, my nephew did that shit, like, three times in his school in Woodland. But I went up there, like, but what the fuck y'all in here doing? Y'all just gonna let this nigga walk away every day? His mind probably be so in a whole nother universe, you know what I'm saying? Like on some real, real, real live genius shit. And the nigga probably trying to walk to the moon or some shit. Everything. Real life genius. I could just imagine. I, I don't want to imagine, but just imagine your kid go to that school, but you let him stay home that day. That's now just imagine your kid go to that school, but they didn't get killed. Or just imagine. They really? just went there. Yeah, they, they ain't going back no more. Oh God, we definitely finna find another school. Huffman should have been empty. <laughs> they used to have a shootout at the school all the goddamn time. <laughs> well, not all the time. They never shoot in that bitch though. Yeah, nah. Yeah, That's some fucked though shit. That's some lame shit too. Yeah, people going shoot up schools. That shit like some. That's some white shit. I know. That's bro. the white that's shit. Some, we that's some weak shit about. too. That's and we be trying to not coward to. shit. That's yeah. some cowardly shit. Yeah. And we be trying not to. Uh, why people be acting like they ain't been Make doing this shit? Make this shit racist all the goddamn time. Man, why people been doing this shit? Think about that shit, bro. That's some sick ass shit. But that's they the only ones do that shit. We like one for one with that shit, and the one for one that we had niggas shooting up shit on some random white folks shit was DC sniper. Man, yeah. fuck that. We still got a lot of catching up to do. All the shit they oh, done God, bombed. That's why I said we shit. one for one. <laughs> nah, shit. Before that, like that we bomb churches over. here and shit with little kids. And, and I don't they were just the shooting at a concert that was outside yeah, in yeah, Las yeah, Vegas. Just, yeah. yeah. Like, bro, I can't even go to a fucking festival without nigga just airing this hoe out. You just feel like you just feel like killing everybody. That's crazy, bro. I don't. I, don't, I hope I don't ever be in no situation like that, bro. I wonder what make that dirty poor ass do that. I don't know, bro, but that's, 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 that's some sick shit. Like I said, you just never know what folk be going through. 
But why is it always them? Yeah, why you got to take it out on Why they people? the only ones who do that shit? <laughs> and it's okay. It's it damn near okay. They don't even know why. You got to think about the shit they be thinking about. You be like, you thought of that? What the fuck? But Bro, when they, shit happen like this, they don't bring up their past and stuff. They try to try to feel bad for them. Oh, yeah. they was dealing with this, but it was a nigga. Oh, he was a criminal. Yeah. Let, don't let the nigga die and can't stay and uh, defend himself. Or don't let him be innocent. Yeah. Drag nine through this shit. Don't let him don't let him die at the hands of that shit happening. Uh victim, victim Rashad Jones died, but six months ago, he was in a drug raid. In Ansel, Alabama, where they found 42 pounds of marijuana and a lot of $10,000 in cash. He also has a daughter who has a hard time staying at school. <laughs> he be like, damn, bitch, but he just died at the hand of a white man who ain't have, he ain't even know him. Yeah. He just, wrong place, wrong time. I don't know. That should be weird. Yeah, man. Man, y'all got anything else, bro? We've been piping for a minute. Yeah, we have. Yeah. One o'clock. Shit. That's it, bro. Oh, yeah, I did want to clap it up for the black father, for he Muhammad. Oh, yeah, he we got his son um, with 40 acres for his birthday. He 13 years old in California. Shout out to Mr. Muhammad. He got 40 acres in California? Yeah, he bought his son 40 acres for his 13th birthday. Big in Flicks. California? In California. In SoCal. That boy got money. Do you hear me? I need to buy me some land. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That shit, when we get that shit in Talladega, it's up. I've been saying, you got land in um, Talladega. Yeah. Was that you that said you hoots? Somebody that said that you got to be, a, like when they, the white people came over here took the land, you got to be a crazy motherfucker think you all land. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got to like, be a crazy this, motherfucker to walk in somebody's house. This is mine. <laughs> and I'm finna charge you for it. Like, what the fuck? I'm talking when they first got here, this mine, ain't here. I'ma kill whoever. What you said that conversation land. was like? That's probably why they had to kill them on Thanksgiving. Just like, like that. just like if it's some kids around, you just put can down the floor. <laughs> like when you bust the pinata open. <laughs> Y'all seen that video? That's that probably where the first murder was come from, goddamn. Trying to open that pinata. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Having land. You and these niggas ain't having that get on land. Your land. And you know they ain't got guns. Or if you trying to take his land, you finna kill everybody on that motherfucker. Mm -hmm. The whole everybody. Everybody. Or and this what you we did. just could send some real sick motherfuckers that's sick and nasty and dirty. Mm -hmm. We gonna send them over there because we know they gonna fuck it up and we just gonna come through. Yeah, and rebuild. Get, wait till everybody die. We playing alone. Damn, game. they smoke that shit. <laughs> shit, them the ultimate planners. Yeah. They've been playing like that from the beginning. From the beginning, bro. <laughs> now, it up, now it's man. just to the point where everybody just realized, bro, they've been playing on this whole fucking time. All bro, we got to do crazy. is just stand the fuck up for ourselves. Now it's not even okay. That's what's going on with the dollar and all that shit, bro. Hey, no, or, it's it's it, some bullshit. Motherfucker need to organize. They said now the number one currency amongst them cultures is Bitcoin. Bitcoin? Yeah. In other countries. Oh, in other countries. Yeah. That's like the new number one source of. Things. How else can you, you know what I'm saying, dethrone the king, create your own shit? Because you know they got like behavioral currency over there in China or some shit. Like I was watching on the internet, like, oh, was that a movie? Probably a movie. Like, oh, they, nah, it was one of them shows I was watching on. Uh, that shit was on their own. Uh, 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 what well, they? It's the type of currency that they're gonna present in the future. Like, let's say. You got a you a bad person. Like, let's say I wake up. If if I get up, my credit score 800, T's credit score 800. We meet each other throughout the day. We wind up fighting. That shit going to pick it up, and then that shit going to knock 500 points off your credit. So now when you go to the grocery store, you can only get shit that's in your credit score. It was like a whole currency system. That shit was fucked up, but it was all based on behavior, though. So then it wasn't like, no more police. Cause everybody wanted to act right to keep all that shit. Nah, it would make sense if you fuck somebody over in a deal. That'll make more sense. But now, all that shit, your morality, morality knocked off the most credit points. It's like a movie act like that. <clears throat> I thought I seen that shit on what you call them, like that too. Like that's how they working to get their shit. You know what I'm saying? Like everything is based off of face cameras and all that crazy shit.
yeah, technology yeah. that y'all love so dearly. Y'all crackheads too. For sure, for sure. Perk heads. For sure, for sure. Did Donald Trump ass ever go to jail? He did. Bun it right up. Bitch, I got bun man on deck. Oh, I don't give a fuck about <laughs> going to nobody in jail, but lock me up, but right now. And they probably ain't gonna say nothing else about this shit. <laughs> he probably gonna win the president says some more shit. We fucked again. He can still run again after he went to jail after that, about that shit. I thought he we wasn't should. convicted. You gotta be convicted on some shit. That is a wild shit. They just trying to they just trying to tarnish that nigga image. I think that's what really made niggas stop fucking uh, with America was his ass, bro. Yeah, he was cutting everybody off. Nigga fuck. Nah, y'all. he was just doing the most, bro. It's like that one nigga, if we all doing good business, it's just that one flight risk, that one liability that you just like, bro. Yeah, that was him. <laughs> oh, wow. God. And like, look, and he might have been the boss, and we like, bro, that nigga up there tripping, cause like, we just gonna get our shit that we got here together, bro. He can't function without us. He up there, whole tripping. They like, gonna get our money and dip, bro, make our own shit. Don T. Dang. Come on. Oh, well, fuck it. Black people, we. Like, they ain't even seeing, like, you gotta think about it, bro. All the movies that look like the government getting overturned, it looked just like that shit Mm -hmm. that these white folks did. So they seeing it and see they didn't do shit about it. Mm -hmm. They're like, oh, this shit's sweet. Them niggas sweet. Tell me they got the strongest military. Y'all can't even control white people. Yeah. (laughs) They, they. Cut them niggas' ward off. Oh, man, cut cut that ward off. They tie them up, buddy. It's like that nigga. Bl- they probably finna start crashing out some moto, so they better get ready. Man, they finna fight a war with America. They ain't gotta have one missile, nothing. You know what I'm saying? America ain't better to fight that way out of this. You ain't better to kill that way the out of this. Technology shit. That shit started with COVID. That was the first kaboom. That wasn't the first one. I'm talking about from China. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It wasn't the first one. I'm talking about of that stature of war. Like, we ain't got to use soldiers. We'll just kill everybody. They've been doing it. That's why it's no nuclear war, no none of that shit. They've been doing it. War with your kids. We'll give you a TikTok. But, yeah. That's it, man. We can get off that shit. Hey, one of y'all got any pick? <laughs> shit, we got a song that somebody sent us that, uh... He said you can play it though? Yeah, the nigga told us to delete that. Please don't let this shit be tracked. Nah, we just gonna say it's a sir song. We ain't gonna say how we got it. Tell him I finna a job real Nah, it's sir. The actual artist, sir. Oh, okay. From TDE. <laughs> the nigga said leak that hoe. Here we go. <laughs> you hearing it first, good players with a sir exclusive. I don't even know the name of the song. <laughs> that shit Fado. It never yeah, it's never been out, but this that song right here. You hearing it literally first on the Good Players podcast. Let's go. World premiere. It ain't no premiere. Mm-hmm. It been out. Nah. Mm-hmm. Oh, it ain't that. It's a world premiere. 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 Oh uh, yeah. Oh, and you made it to the end of this podcast. I forgot about that part. If you made it to the end of this podcast, just know we three players discussing hip hop, entertainment, the culture, and all the ratchet shit in between. Here we go. We get into this real, real life leak. Hey, Amen. <laughs>